It's the Team Red Eye Shit Show. Insert you uh d d d d d intro here. I fucked up on talking, so that there we go. That's that's quite the intro. I'm your. I am me, and you are you. If he's him and you're you, and you're him and he's you, then who am I? Who's eating this chicken? What the hell is going on? <laughs> yes. Uh, but today we're going to talk about RPGs, and I think we're probably going to start with Fallout. Yes, I know. Shocking. Um, I think it's overrated. <laughs> but I just uh, I just uploaded my Fallout 3 review this morning. Um, obviously, I've really enjoyed Fallout 3. I've enjoyed New Vegas quite a bit, too, and I want to get into the other Fallouts as well. Uh, but I definitely do think 3 is the best of the bunch. I think it's interesting that a lot of people prefer New Vegas. Um, fa yeah. fa there are also a lot of people that prefer 4. Those people are what we call retarded. <laughs> Look, I, I've, I've only played like 10 minutes of 4, but I can tell you right now it is an inferior game. Also, something that really makes me mad is like, uh, is there are memes where people are like, oh, the Fallout community is the best game community because they get along and then, then like all the games. It's like that's not even true for most of the people who play Fallout. Yeah. They don't, like, Fallout fans don't get along at all. They disagree with each other all the time and say, like, the other games are terrible and that only the one they like is the best. Yeah, and then, of course, you have the purists who try to say that Bethesda ruined it. Yeah. Which I actually think Bethesda did a better job because they're more patriotic than the original people that made Fallout. Well, I don't know about now, but maybe when they made 3. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's when, well, I mean, I would say that they are in 4, too. Like, I'd say that they actually like America. Yeah. Where they... Well, 4 came out right before all the woke shit started. Because Obsidian has just always been kind of woke. Yeah. But, uh... I think Fallout 3 is the... is, like, the... the, the the most American one. Yeah, I, I like I love all the Americana and the patriotism you see with the different factions. Like both the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel are patriotic in their different ways. And and I just think Washington D.C. is the perfect place for a Fallout game to take place. Yeah, I think it's cool that so many places there are based on real places. Um, and like, uh, I didn't even know Raven Rock was a real place. The Enclave base, Raven Rock, that's a real place. Yeah. That's where the president evacuates in the event of an emergency. Huh. Um, but like, uh, it was cool. I love that. I love the reveal of who the president is. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, because I honestly did not see that coming. I, I thought he was going to be awesome. a person. I like that you can convince him to blow himself up like he can the master in Fallout One. Yeah. I think uh, the choices in Fallout Three are so good. Yeah, like I said, I like I said in the review, I don't think there's any game that lets you be anywhere near as evil. You can nuke a town, you can sell people into slavery, including a small child. Uh, you can do cannibalism. You can kill pretty much anyone. There's only a few NPCs that you can't ever kill. It's, it's the only g game that makes me feel like an indestructible evil god. Yeah. Like, which, I feel like I can do anything in the world of Fallout 3. Which I know that's your sexual fantasy, but... <laughs> I have no idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> no, but, um... Fallout 3, uh, basically, uh, lets me do anything I ever wanted to do in my entire life. Yeah, no, Fallout 3 is great. Um, I honestly think it's my favorite RPG now. Um, I'm pretty sure I've said that in a previous stream. Um, Morrowind's pretty good, too, though. Oh, I love Morrowind, yeah. And here's the thing, I still love Oblivion, and I still like Skyrim, too. Like, Skyrim has a lot of problems and isn't as much of an RPG, but I still had fun with it. Yeah, I like, I like the... Uh... I like, uh... When the, the, the DLC felt Lovecraftian. Yeah. Well, that's another thing, is I, I love the Lovecraft influence, influence in Fallout 3 as well, you know, with, like, the Dunwich building, and then that, uh, put with Point Lookout, like, how there's that guy that wants you to go find that book that's very clearly a reference to the Necronomicon. To, I never got to be a werewolf, uh, or a, or a, the werewolf bear thing in Morrowind, I only got to be a werewolf in Fallout, I mean, in, uh, Skyrim. 
and I thought that was pretty cool. You can be a werewolf in Morrowind, it's just very difficult. Yeah. You have to go I to did. Solstheim. And you have to complete the Solstheim quest. Or, like, you have to get really far in the Solstheim main quest. Because you know how, like, when you ask rumors, there's all those people who are like, Oh, Solstheim, it's a terrible place. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, when you do the main quest of Solstheim, you get to a, a, a quest called the Siege of Skull Village. And at that point, there's werewolves everywhere in that quest, so you can easily become one. Um, you can also become one if you randomly encounter one on Solstein, but that's really rare, and you have to know what to look for. Like, if you're walking around in the daytime, if you see an enemy called, like, Wandering Lunatic, if you wait until nightfall and then approach them, they'll attack you as a werewolf. Morrowind would have been so much better if you could team up with Thagoth here. Yeah, that would have been cool. Um, that is the like, one... They clearly, they clearly intended it originally, but something happened along the way. Uh, uh yeah, uh, Morrowind was originally supposed to have, like, three or four endings, uh, but Bethesda thought that people would be too confused on what's supposed to be canon, so they cut them. Uh, that's not an issue. I like the Fallout 3, you could, it don't even, they don't even care, they just let you do... Uh, I mean, in Fallout games, they, they, for the most, most of them, they let you be as evil as you want to be. Yeah, except for four, right? <laughs> yeah. Or you can be evil in the DLC, but you just... And there are some side quests that let you be evil in Fallout 4, but it feels really out of place because your character, like, did all this good stuff. So why would they care? Like, I guess you could team up... You can team up with the Institute, but they're, like, they're evil, but they're not, like, fun evil. Yeah. Hey, Vintage Wave, how you doing? Doing good. All right. Well, right now we're talking about Fallout, because we're talking about RPGs in general, and obviously with how obsessed I've been with Fallout lately, that's what we're starting with. But if there's any you want to talk about, feel free. Sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I think um, I think with 4, like, it, it, it's kind of like with Skyrim, where they just removed a bunch of the features and, like, made it less of a role-playing game. Yeah, but it's still... The main, the, it's still fun... Being a member of the Brotherhood of Steel in that game, I think it's worth it just to be just for the Brotherhood of Steel quests, and I really like. And the DLC is really good, uh, but a lot of it is just going around to these areas. Most of it, as honestly, just doing what Preston Garvey tells you to do. Uh huh. Like a lot of the quests are just like I would say a majority of the quests are just people, random villages that need the Minutemen's help. Yeah. Yeah, there's and, a uh, explora- it, the, the exploration is kind of uh, not like the places are never interesting like they are in Fallout Three. It's just you go there to loot and kill, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, th- that's another thing on uh, that I like with Fallout and Elder Scrolls, that, like versus Elder Scrolls, is that in Fallout there's actual multiple pull endings. Where Elder Scrolls, I don't think there ever has been. Like, Grant, I've never played Arena or Daggerfall, so I can't confirm that. And I've never played, like, the spin-offs, like Battlespire or, uh, Redguard. Would you say Fallout, get, like, has better choices than any other game? Because they, like, would you say that, uh, that Fallout really does let you be any kind of character you want to be? I would think so, yeah. Like I said, it's the most evil you could be. Like, the only other thing that's even comparable in evil, I would say, is the Undertale Genocide run, just because you literally destroy the world. Mm-hmm. I would say you definitely get the feeling that you, you destroyed the world after playing Fallout 3 if you play it as evil. Yeah. But, like, it, like in Undertale Genocide, you literally kill everyone. There's something like that, as far as I'm aware, right? Like, there's only a couple characters in Fallout 3 that, can die, that can't die. Yeah, Abraham Washington cannot be killed. Uh, Daniel Littlehorn cannot be killed, at least if you're evil. Um... I killed Fox and Dogmeat on a stream last night just to see that I could. They took... Fox took forever. Mm-hmm. He's really strong. I killed Fox one time and it was, uh... I didn't think it was, it was too long and it was, like... Okay, but did you have Broken Steel installed? Yeah, I definitely did. Because the first time I ever played... Did a playthrough of Fallout is, was when I killed Fox and... That's when I, and I had DLC downloaded when I first played Fallout. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I collected all 100 steel ingots last night, but you have to turn them in to get the achievements, so that was pretty lame. Yeah. 
Because I already killed the guy, because I killed all the NPCs in the pit already. So now, I'm, I loaded my old save, or my good save, where, so I'm going to do another stream later, maybe. maybe. Probably not tonight, but where I go get the ingots again, if people actually want to see that. But, like, do you know there's a really bad glitch in the pit where you fall through a roof and die? That you have to, like, save and reload to fix the roof? I never, know, I never had that problem. It's when you're going up the top level to get the ingots. Yeah, I know. I've, had to, I, I've been up there. I just never fell through the roof. Yeah, apparently it's a really common glitch on the Xbox version. I've always... The PS3 version that I had is the one I played Fallout the most on it. And that, on that, on my PS3, they would always have crazy glitches. Like, the characters would stretch out their limbs and flop around on the ground. Or their heads would be reattached, but, like, still... Like, they, their head would, heads would look like they were in mid-explosion when they're walking around. Yeah. I've seen Death Claws uh, just, like, get launched into the air and disappear all the time when I'm walking around in Fallout 3. And there's been one yeah. time that he fell back down behind me and scared the bejesus out of me because it was way later in the game, but it was the same Death Claw. Yeah. Because he got, like, because I was on one side of the map, went way further away, and then all of a sudden I start getting attacked, and I see the same Death Claw with the same health I'd shot him away from. Honestly, I've been thinking about it though, and I think uh, on your first Fallout 4 playthrough, you might want to get, get download mods because you none know, of the creatures look scary like they do in Fallout 3. And I think I really like, I really like playing Fallout 4 with all the creatures having the looking how they did in the Fallout 3. No, that's cool and all, I, but I do want. I think I want to do the first stream without mods just to get the idea. Mm -hmm. I, I also a lot of I want. I, a lot of the guns are, like, really lame in comparison to Fallout 3. Like, they shoot better, yeah, but they're, they're, it's like, they don't feel like real guns. Like, they do, like, in Fallout 3, they feel like guns that could actually exist. Yeah. But in Fallout 4, if they make them so cartoonish because they, they don't want to resemble real guns. Because if people, like, cosplay with, with, uh, things that look like real guns, like, uh, they think they'll get in trouble or something. Yeah. Um, so you, you downloaded Knights of the Old Republic. How far have you gotten in that so far? I haven't gotten very far. I was just playing. Played it for a minute, and then uh, something came up, but I'm going to play it again. Okay. Yeah, I know the combat's very different in that game, so you have to get used to that, because it's got, like, that auto-attack thing, unless you use special attacks. I just always use special attacks, though, because I like to feel like I'm doing something, so I, ju I just spam special attacks. Um, but How yeah. How evil can be in that game? Pretty evil. Like, I don't think it could be Fallout 3 evil, but you could be pretty evil, because, um, you could, like, there's, like, a family that's, like, starving and, like, needs your help to, like, save them. So they give you, like, their last valuable possession to, like, sell and, uh, like, save them. Because they can't sell it at the hunting lodge because they don't have a license, but you can get one. Uh, um, but you can, you can either threaten her and take it from her and then just leave them so that their family will starve. Or... You could sell it, lie to her, and say, "Oh yeah, no, they didn't give me any more money for it." And then don't you leave her to st starve? And like, if if you complete if you complete that interaction in an evil way, I love what she says to you, uh, because she's like, "You you you killed us, you doomed us. Darkness take you, monster." Which is like one of my favorite lines in that game. Um, you can also like, there's a lot of characters you can just kill for no reason. Um, like, you can't just kill anyone, you have to, you have to, like, say a dialogue option that'll initiate combat. But yeah, no, you can be pretty evil in Night's Old Republic. I think that's probably the most evil thing you can do. Um, there's also, on, on the planet Terrace, there's a, um, there's this disease that mutates people into these things called rat, ghoul, rat ghouls. Uh, you can either cure that disease, or you can, well, you, you, if you find the cure, you can either give it to a hospital who will sell it to people for affordable prices, or you can give it to this, like, hut uh, crime lord that will only make it so that only rich people can afford it by making it cost over a thousand credits. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Night's the Old Republic's great. There's an arena in it. Um, I love when RPGs have arenas. That's that's something I have a big soft spot for, and I think it's why I like the pit so much. Yeah. It's, it sucks that the pit doesn't get to last longer. I, I, it should be as long as the arena in Oblivion. Yeah. I need to try the, uh, the Legion Arena, because I haven't tried that yet. Other than, like, fighting the dog to get the brain. What do you think of, what, what do you think of the Arena in Morrowind? 
There's a. I have never done it. I know it exists because it's in Vivek, but I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I have spent as little time as in Vivek as possible because the out the layout of that town is all kind of the same and confusing. Yeah, I, I was confused the first time, but eventually I figured out where everything was, and I never had. After that, I had, didn't have a problem getting around. I, I gotta try it out. You gotta remember in uh, in Morrowind, a lot of what I've done is just kind of fuck around in it. It's only I really like killing the guards and taking their armor but if you wear the armor and then talk to one of them they get mad at you yeah you ever um so you haven't played any of the Morrowind like DLC though right no I love it like I've gotten further in the DLC in Morrowind than I have in the main quest like with the tribunal quest line is the one that I got the furthest in um that's the one where you have to like destroy the dark brotherhood That one's pretty cool. Um, I like that you can join the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion. Yeah, a and in Skyrim. Although I think Oblivion has the best Dark Brotherhood quest line. I like the way they approach you after you kill someone. Yeah, you kill sleep. You sleep too. pretty well for a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I lo I love the whole traitor subplot that you get towards the end. I haven't gotten towards the end. You never beat the Dark Brotherhood quest line? No. Oh, it's so good, dude, because, like, it tur there's, like, a traitor in, like, the Black Hand, which is, like, the top ranks. Mm -hmm. And, like, part of the thing is trying to find the traitor, so you have to, like, kill everybody that you've worked with so far in the Dark Brotherhood. You have to wipe out the entire sanctuary you've been working for. That's awesome. Yeah. But then it, like, turns out none of them were the traitor. So then, like, after that, yeah, um, Lucy and the guy who recruits you gets brutally flayed and killed, even though he was, like, the most loyal member. But then you find the traitor, and it turns out it's this crazy guy who was kind of like Jason Voorhees, because they killed his mother, and so he got, like, really obsessed about revenge. And, like, you can find his mother's head in this, like, shack that he has, that's, and it's very clearly a reference to Friday the 13th Part 2. I didn't know Oblivion did anything like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um... But yeah. Oblivion was just a silly, fun game. Yeah, I, I think that, uh, like, with, with, like, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 is vastly better than Knights of the Old Republic 2. It's funny, because I saw this guy do a review where he tried to say that most people agree that 2 is better, and I have never once heard anyone actually say that other than that guy, because 2 is unfinished and broken. Like, I still love 2, but 1 is so much better, and 2 doesn't even really have an ending. Like, the ending to 2 is really anticlimactic. Like, Two, no matter what you do, the ending is just you fly away and you're. What's that? All right, well I'll just continue with my spiel. Uh, two, two doesn't even really have an ending. All you do is like fly away in your ship. Like you don't even see any like. There's no difference. You just sh your ship flies away and then the credits roll. But yeah, um, in addition to the ending being really anticlimactic and two, like the part leading up to the ending is always the same because like. Because, like, if you're good, you're, you're gathering up all the Jedi to try and rebuild them into. If you're evil, you're taking them all out. But no matter what, if you're good or evil, the Jedi will try to kill you at the end to try and, like, prevent you from continuing, even if you're good. And so no matter what, the result is always the same. Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic 2 has a lot of problems. Knights of the Old Republic 1 has a completely different ending for light side and dark side. That's that's what I like. Because if you're, if you're light side, you take over the Sith... Or sorry, if you're dark side, you take over the Sith and like take over the space station, and you, you become the new Lord of the Sith. In the in the light side, you save the galaxy and destroy the Star Forge, which is kind of a rip off of the Death Star in a way, but it's also its own thing. Like there's there's a ton of things in Star Wars that rip off the Death Star in general, but mm -hmm. like in the remakes. Yeah. By remakes, you mean the sequels, but they're basically remakes. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what, uh, I'd say that an RPG I'm looking forward to really, really right now is, uh, Deltarune Chapter 3. I really hope that comes out soon. Like, I know it's going to take a while because it's going to be 3 through 5 that get released as a bundle. Um, but Deltarune Chapter 2 I really liked. Apparently there's people who didn't like Deltarune Chapter 2, but I thought it was great. How much of Walking Dead have you played? Uh, like the Telltale one? Yeah. All of it. All the, all, well, the first two seasons. Yeah. Those are the only seasons worth playing. Yeah, I, I've played all of them. I, I have not uh, played season three, and I've not played uh, the spin-offs. 
I like siding with Kenny on everything. Yeah, I, I killed Kenny at the end uh, without realizing what? I had a choice not to. What? Well, because, like, even... like I, I was stupid. Like, the, um, the thing where it said shoot him or look away, my dumbass brain interpreted it as, are you going to look at him when you shoot him or are you going to look away when you shoot him? Like, I thought you shot him either way. No. Yeah, no, I uh, figured that out after the fact. Shoot the other character. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, I, my, I don't know why I interpreted it that way. I was just being really stupid. Um, I think uh, the best, uh, I think I, I, it, it's literally, I literally tried playing it and betraying Kenny, but I literally couldn't. Couldn't bring yourself uh, to do it? No, because I just like Kenny as a character so much I can't do anything uh, that makes him angry or upset ever. Yeah. Well, like I said, you know you know how I told you, like... Or, well, I don't know if you saw any of my stream, my Fallout 3 bonus stream from last night. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, like for, it's funny, because the things I felt the most guilty about were killing Fox and Dogmeat. Yeah. Um, because, you know, Fox is just cool, and he... Like, both of them are so loyal, too, you know? For some reason, like, uh... What was it? Sorry, my, my real last name is Fox, and thank you. Yes, I am very cool. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Fox, how is it spelled? F-O-X. Ah, well, Fox in, uh, in uh, Fallout is spelled like Guy Fox, F-A-W-K-E-S. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see. Um, I'm not, I, I, I like to hear people talk about video games. I haven't been into video games for the past uh, 15 years now, so I, I really don't know anything about video games. Uh, the one thing I would like to know what you guys are th uh, think about is uh, this whole Silent Hill uh, bonanza I can't I can't get away from, even though I'm not a big video game person, that people will not shut up about the Silent Hill uh, remake. Um, I mean, I, I haven't played a ton of Silent Hill, I've only played a little bit of two. So, uh, I, I think I, Silent Hill 2 is easily the best of the Silent Hill games. Easily. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of interest in things I like coming back in general, just because a lot of things get ruined. I mean, if it's yeah, done... I think the only way to play Silent Very Hill true. 2, the only way to play Silent Hill 2 is on your PS2, and that's it. Any other way is just wrong. Yeah, but you still want me to play the HD version, since that's the only one I have. Yeah, you'll... You, Either way, it's, you still gotta play the game. Like, if you're not gonna play it on PS2, play it already. Yeah. Um, yeah, is it like a remake of the first Silent Hill, or what kind of remake are we talking about? Isn't it of Silent Hill 2? Well, I mean, the trailer, I mean, they're making a, a brand new film. It was like a, a, a big uh, streaming thing. It was a remake of the Silent Hill 2 for PlayStation 5. And it was a new movie, and then there's another video. I, I couldn't remember all of it, but it's like a stream thing that they did, uh, Konami did. Oh, so they're doing a lot of Silent Hill stuff. Yeah, that's the, I, I saw on the stream that uh, my friend told me to watch. They should just, they should just make PT again. Yeah, there you go. They need to bring that back. I don't know why they would just sweep that under the rug. They gotta make that game. Oh, because they fired Kojima. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> and then he's like... I'd like to play a good game that isn't terrible. Yeah. You, you, know, you know, it's a really funny joke. You know you know that that meme from Futurama where he's like, fine, I'll make my own with blackjack and hookers. And that works perfectly for New Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing. In fact, get my, he's like, uh, I'll, I'll make my own uh, amusement park with blackjack and hookers. In yeah. In fact, forget about the... Uh, the theme park. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But yeah, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, uh, there's like a meme where it shows Bender and he's like, fine, I'll make my own Fallout. Like, it's, it's Bender as Obsidian. He's like, fine, I'll make my own Fallout with Blackjack and Hookers because New Vegas has both of those in it. Mm -hmm. Well, Fallout 3 has uh, like two. What, Hookers? Yeah. Well, what, there's like, there's Nova, right? Yeah. Then there's one. There's also the, the the one that's like retired. Yeah, oh no. yeah, I always just kill her 
immediately and take your money? Yeah. All right. What? Okay, he left. I was just saying if someone joined or if he left, because my, my screen's all fucked up. He left. Um, so, uh, yeah, other, other than that, um, I think it's funny that in Fallout New Vegas, you can build, like, that sex robot, and then, like, the second you get it, it's like, okay, assume the position. And I, I had to. I was like, okay, I guess I should test you out before I turn you over. Well, the robot's name is... Fisto. Fisto. Yep. For, so, uh, your character is gay. I, th I thought it was the funniest fucking thing, though. <laughs> like, but, uh, the fact that it just cuts I away and think then... It's, I think it's actually dumb that they made... That they gave you the option to play, uh, that they gave, they made it, like, they gave you the gay option. Because I think it should just, uh, I don't know, I just don't, I just think it's dumb, because you never even, you hardly even get to, I don't know. You know, you know, romance in RPGs, I think, um, can be done really poorly, and I think it can be done really well. Um, Knights of the Old Republic has, has technically three romances in it. One of which is kind of like uh, understated, and you have to actually go out of your way to do it. And that's like the that's the lesbian one, um, with this chick named Juhani. But like, if you're if you're if you're a chick, you can romance Karth, which I actually think is the better one, just because he's a much better character. Like, like you playing as a female and romancing Karth, I think is the better like written romance because Karth is such a good character. Whereas Bastila, when you're a guy is such a bitch to you the entire game, whereas Karth is, like, loyal and, like, dependable. Car Karth is one of my favorite characters in Knights of the Old Republic, by the way. Like, he's probably, like, my third favorite uh, party member that you get. My first being Candorous and second being uh, HK-47. You get a lot of teammates in Knights of the Old Republic. I think you get nine in the first game. Who's the best teammate? Candorous. Uh, because he's, he's really cool. He's a Mandalorian. But, like... Like, because if you don't know, Knights of the Old Republic is actually the thing that introduced the concept of Mandalorians. Like, Boba Fett was retconned into being a Mandalorian, but Mandalorian as a concept didn't exist in the original six movies. So does that mean that Mandalorian wouldn't exist without Knights of the Old Republic? No, it wouldn't. But at the same time, the show The Mandalorian, I gave way too much praise when it came out. Um, but I love Mandalorians and lore, which is why I liked it so much. But, like, Candorous is my favorite Mandalorian, because he's such a cool character. And he's, like... Candorous is in both Knights of the Old Republic games as a teammate. Him and him, HK-47 and T3M4 are the only ones that are in both games uh, on your team. Man, this, this Discord is glitchy as fuck. I don't know, like... If you guys ever have this problem where you get on your Discord and, like... On, on computer and, like, the screen gets all covered and, like... Like, the, the thumbnails for each of your servers get, like, big and cover the screen, and you can't see half the stuff? Sometimes, yeah. It's really frustrating. Yeah. Maybe, uh, no, uh... This for, well, I, I did like The Mandalorian, but then, uh, Book of Boba Fett ruined everything. Yeah, like, well, look, I've only seen the first season of Mandalorian, and it's fine. Like, it, like it's, it's still good. Like, I still enjoyed it. But, like... I think that I gave it way too much praise when it came out just because I was kind of giving into the hype a little bit. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, uh, it, it is pretty solid. Second season is okay, but uh, Book of Boba Fett kind of ruins the whole thing. But yeah, and Book, Book of Boba Fett I know has, like, a lot of really bad writing and, like, it tries to make you sympathize with the Sand People even though they're only really shown doing horrible stuff in it. Well, I mean... I'm a big Return of the Jedi fan, you know. And, Same. And, uh, you know, the criminal underworld in Star Wars is very violent, and it's very criminally, and it's, yeah. you know... I mean, the, the brief moment we saw in Jabba's Palace, you know, it's a dangerous place. But Book of Boba Fett, like, fucking kidified. Is Jabba the Hutt based? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean... Yeah, I mean... He's it... ice and chains up... Uh, green and human women. So it's true. Yeah, it should be. 
Yeah, he's pretty big. <laughs> Yeah, um, no, that's I, I do love the uh, the criminal element in Star Wars. Like, if you read some of the like the expanded universe books pre Disney, they're really good too. Oh yeah, but uh, Book of Boba Fett, like, I, I mean, it's just fucking. It's like baby's first crim, uh, gangster movie. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? Oh, that's lame. Uh, um, yeah, Knights of the Old Republic has some pretty cool crime lords in it too. Like, there's Davik. He's pretty cool. Um, he's like the one on Terrace. Yeah, nice. Yeah, like, and the exchange is the exchange is this big criminal organization that like exists in the in Knights of the Old Republic, and um, they're they're like a bunch of smugglers and stuff. Like, but they're like competitors to the Huts. They don't work with the Huts, although there are some Huts that work with the exchange too. So, there's a lot of different cr criminal elements in the Old Republic era. But yeah, the huts are considered to be like the most brutal, I think. They are greedy little fat bastards. Is Darth Vader a little bit justified? <laughs> what do you mean? But yeah, what what are you uh, asking about mean, specifically? Is he the is he like kind of the good guy, if you think about it? I mean in the end he does kill the Emperor. Yeah, he does. I mean I think George higher time every decision he makes. I think George Lucas uh, fucked up his origin story because you know he had a bunch of yes people you know saying yes to him instead of saying hey listen George maybe you should second guess what you're doing with these films but no he just had a lot of yes people. Yeah, like granted I, I love the prequels like they're flawed and they're 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 bad in a lot of ways but I do enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Like I, I just like, oh, Darth Vader's origin was good. Well, like, the, I mean, the problem is the execution, though. I do agree there is a lot of problems with it. Like, I, I still enjoy it, and I like it, but it is kind of poorly written. Yeah, I mean, uh, the best prequel is, of course, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. That, yeah, that's the best one, but I just don't understand, like, uh, even the simple uh, what a Jedi wears is ruined by those movies. They, they wear, they wear, like, robes from, like, the first New Hope movie, but... You know, I would I would envision Jedi's wearing what Luke wore in uh, Return of the Jedi, like all black, like some sort of like like a like a space priest or something. I thought I thought his his uh, Jedi costume was much more is much more cooler than like those robes that they gave him in the episode one and episode two. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's not what I envision a Jedi to look like. Right. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily an inconsistency though, because there are inconsistencies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Um, but I mean, but, like Obi Wan was wearing robes because you know he's in a you know sand desert like environment. You know he was hiding out from uh, the Empire, and you know guy wearing Jedi robes. You know they would like sniff out like really fast. I don't know. It's just it, it's frustrating. Those those uh, I, I I the prequels are are okay, but they frustrate they frustrate me a lot. A lot of Star Wars frustrates me a lot nowadays. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, I tend to give a little bit more credit to the prequels just because they're so much better than the sequels. Um, but, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Um, although, I will say, you know, this might be a hot take, but honestly, I don't think Phantom Menace is the worst prequel. I think the worst prequel is Attack of the Clones because it's fucking boring. Oh, Attack of the Clones is one of the worst uh, Star Wars movies ever made. Yeah, because, like, most of the movie, they're just talking about in-universe politics, and then there's the really bad romance. Oh, yeah. Um, like, the one thing I like from Attack of the Clones is the fact that the clone army gets created, which was kind of cool. And I like, there's one line that I really like, and that's because it's such a ha hammed up line. And then, you know, that's, um, let's see, what was it? I, I, I killed them, but not just the men, but the women and the children. The children yeah. They're animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them. Uh, I liked, uh, I don't know, what's her name? What, what's Padme's name? Uh... Padme Amidala or Natalie Portman, the actress? Natalie Portman's midriff in the movie. That that was the best actor in that movie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are the best Sorry. Star Wars movies are three and five. Uh, Revenge of the Sith and uh, Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, yeah. I, I think the objective best is uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, but if I had to pick my favorite, I, I'd say Return of the Jedi. But I do think the objective yeah, yeah. best is Empire Strikes Back. I don't I just know. Think that I like Wars, the, those are like the darkest ones. That's why they're my yeah. favorites. Star Wars is a victim of its own popularity. I feel now. Oh yeah. You know? Um, you guys ever seen the holiday special? <laughs> yeah. 
I haven't. I've seen it four times. Why? Why would you do that? To <laughs> I mean, it's not even. I mean, I guess the the space gymnastics scene was kind of with the with the the, the Chewbacca. What's what are they called again? Chewbacca's race. Wookies. Wookies, yeah, the Wookies sh- seeing the holographic Circus Soleil was... They're called Ooga Booga Boys, Jungle Ooga Ooga Booga Boys. <laughs> Like, watching that shit was kind of funny and, like, not, and not like, sleep-inducing, but the rest of it was just fucking bizarre. I, I, I think that's why I like it, though, is because it's just so insanely bad i enjoy it like because i'm i i love so bad it's good a lot of people say that's too bad to even be so bad it's good but i just disagree i have fun with it like granted there's parts of it that are fucking boring but like i love the um like the the cooking show that chewbacca's wife is watching on tv oh my god stir a whip stir a whip whip oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will say the best part is the animated sequence with uh boba, boba fett, fett yeah he's riding the dinosaur i think that's the coolest boba fett se- scene in the entire series yeah, that that is a really cool. I mean, I will. I mean, if that was like, if they could find like the original like uh, negative of that short, uh, and like short re-release that just on its own on like Blu-ray or 4K or something. Yeah, that would be really cool. The original, like the first thing to have Boba Fett or am I wrong? Yes, it was. It was the first that, appearance of Boba Fett. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they. I think he was like a. I think it was a concept art uh, that Ralph McQuarrie did with for the stormtroopers and it was like rejected or something and they uh, used that that design for Boba Fett I think I can't remember the only thing that's kind of weird about that animation is some of the way the faces looks oh man uh, with Han Solo and uh, what's his face uh, Luke Skywalker look fucking hilarious yeah <laughs> it looked like caricatures of uh, of them it's, it's weird yeah it's so fucking weird was did Mark was Mark Hamill ever at one point actually cool? Uh, he was cool in the uh, first Guyver movie. <laughs> like like live action or the live action Guyver movie? Yeah, he was the, a detective trying to find out why are these uh, people turning into zoonoids. And spoiler alert! I mean, have you guys seen the live action Guyver movie? I have not. I, I need to actually uh, watch Guyver, but I want to start with the OVAs because I've seen clips from the OVAs and they look so cool. Oh man, they're 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 like the best. Uh, the first uh, six episodes are the best adaptation of Guyver. Uh, the last six episodes of the OEV are fucking awful because I guess they went to a new uh, animation studio and it just got really bad. Uh, the second best adaptation is the 2008 anime series, the 26 episode anime series, and I guess the second live action movie and then the first live action movie. Oh, okay. My ranking. Yeah, I need. But no, uh, what's up? I was just gonna say, yeah, I need to check out Guyver. I've been meaning to. Yeah, uh, there's a. I don't, I don't know. Tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow. Monday, uh, Disco Tech. I'm gonna get coffee real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's having their little little thing, and uh, I'm hoping that they announce like a Guyver on Blu-ray or whatever. They found the negatives for Blu uh, for Guyver, but who okay. knows? Who knows? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I am. Um, like, old school OVAs tend to be my favorite uh, types of anime just because I love how violent and, like, over the top and dark they can be. Oh, yeah, that's that, that, that's good stuff. Really cool stuff. I'm hoping that uh, they found uh, Mad Bull 34 like they found uh, Violence Jack. Yeah. I have the DVD of Mad Bull 34, which, if you don't know, is really fucking rare now. Yeah, it's worth like about three hundred dollars, I think, or two hundred some some a very obscure amount of money. I have the uh, yeah, the Discotech DVD. Yeah, I have that one too. Yeah. No, it's crazy because it was like fifteen bucks when I when I when I was gonna order it, but then I, <laughs> but, but then I see I waited a few months and then it got to be like forty on eBay and like it wasn't on uh, on. I think right stuff anymore. It wasn't on there anymore. So I bought it on eBay for 40 bucks and I'm like, well, it's 40 bucks. It's a little much, but I still want it. And then after that, yeah. it spikes up so much more. And I'm like, okay, I'm glad it was 40 bucks. Yeah. That's because they, uh, this, uh, disco tech discontinued it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, they, uh, this could, yeah. Yeah. Like they've that's, discontinued, uh, some, uh, uh, area 88. So I'm hoping that they're putting that on Blu-ray. So I'm not familiar with that one. It's like, a. uh, it's really cool. It's about a. Uh, it's. It's. Oh man, 
I don't want to say what the story is. I don't want to spoil anything. It's kind of like the anime version of Top Gun, but not homoerotic or anything like that. But it deals with like uh, uh, mercenaries with their uh, with their jet fires. It's it's really cool. It's really cool. Okay. There's a there's a video game on Super Nintendo called uh, UN Squadron that's based on uh, Area 88. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I might even I may even stream that uh, anime uh, in the future. I, I'm 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 doing a uh, my last uh, five uh, nights of uh, Halloween a month oh, next okay. week. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, yeah. Uh, an another DVD I have that's really rare is the Euro Tsukidoji Perfect Collection. That one goes for like anywhere between a hundred to three hundred dollars online as well. Oh man. That that thing is I don't even have that one and I, I can't find it anywhere. I mean, that that one's a that, that one's an amazing collection. I bet. Oh yeah. I need to watch more Yorotsuki Doji. Yeah, we need to do part two for Red Eye Theater because we did Yorotsuki Doji one for Red Eye Theater. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, uh, it's the movie version. You guys watch the movie version? Or the yes. Movie version? Um, so we did the movie version just so that we could watch it dubbed. Because, like, here's the thing. I actually prefer the uncut versions. But mm -hmm. I but I thought for, like, doing Red Eye Theater, watching the dub would be the better one because it's funny. Mm -hmm. Also, I just really like the the other dub that those people did for Devil Man. Yeah, because it's manga entertainment. Manga entertainment is great. I love the Devil Man dub and the Yorotsuki Doji dub. Yeah. You fucking yeah, Makai are all the same. One little sniff of pussy and you lose it. And you lose it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I mean, those dubs are cool, but I, 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 I kind of stick with the original Japanese sometimes. Oh, so, so, so do I. Like, I, I, yeah. I watch the Perfect Collection, typically. But again, for yeah. Red Eye Theater, especially yeah. since it was one of the few Red Eye Theaters where I actually played the audio in it, I thought doing the dub would be better. Because the Devil Man, the Devil Man dub is is fucking hilarious, but but it ruins the to, atmosphere. Yeah, but if I want like a serious like take on it, I have to watch the Japanese yeah. dub. Because when he says "I'm Devil Man, motherfucker," I'm like, oh my god, I'm not him, and he's eating shit in hell right now. You can <laughs> call me Devil Man. That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> Yeah, I streamed uh, all two, both episodes on my Halloween uh, Halloween stream. It was really fun. Everybody loved it. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, I love them. Um, I, I love the Devil Man OVAs. They're my favorite version of Devil Man. Like uh, besides the manga, obviously. Yeah, Aim on Apocalypse of Devil Man is my favorite Devil Man. It's, nice. it's, it's, it's it's like the OVA for that is really good, but once like the manga, once you hit like volume three, I actually think it kind of goes downhill for for Aim on Apocalypse. I haven't even read any of the manga. I, I've seen like the original '70s uh, Devil Man, you know the. Yeah, the, I love that one. That, that was the first Devil Man I watched. Like I watched Violence yeah. Jack, and then I watched that because like my introduction to it was kind of weird because like uh, I, I I found Violence Jack due to like I think it was the Anime Man did like a video of top ten fucked up anime. That video doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and Violence Miki is uh, the best the best anime at the the best anime version of Miki is uh, in the seventies. Open. I agree. Yeah, she has so much more personality in the seventies <laughs> version. Yeah, I and then I watched uh, Devil Man Cry Baby, and that was a huge huge mistake. Ah, uh, yeah, Cry, Cry Baby's so bad. Like I, there are good there are good elements of Cry Baby. Like I think they handled Miki's death really well. Mm-hmm. But like other and like I like the remix of Devil Man No Yuta. Mm -hmm. but, I actually prefer Miki's death and Aim on Apocalypse of Devil Man because I think it's more shocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just like how tragic it is in Cry Baby. That like again, I, I I really don't like Cry Baby, but there are some scenes I really do like. Uh, so like I mean, how Aim on Apocalypse of Devil Man looks like friggin' Todd McFarlane animation. Nice. I mean. Cry Baby, all the good parts, you know, as a tribute to, you know, Go Nagai, but all the really shitty and strange additions is from that Yuasa guy, the, the animation director of that. He, yeah. He's a strange motherfucker, like, in real life. He's, like, he's really SJW, SJW e and, like, is, like, really, like, a. I don't know, like Black Lives Matter. He, he's just really political. So you, yeah, you, you, you can get that vibe with some of the weird stuff in Cry Baby, like all the gay shit yeah. and stuff. And now, yeah, he's got this new anime coming out. Uh, I can't remember it, but it's like 
he's like talking about you know gender roles or something like that. I hate people who watch No Man Cry Baby and they tell you that you don't get. Yeah, no, I <laughs> think it's gay. Yes. Yeah. So he's 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 specifically referring to uh, because like I did those. I don't know if you've seen those Rio videos I did. Um, mm-hmm. they, they got people really mad at me and calling me transphobic and all these things. And it's like that's not even the argument because Rio's a hermaphrodite. No. <laughs> people are stupid, bro. Yeah. Um, but like, um, but like, there's, but like, the thing is, is the people calling me transphobic d- don't bother me. It's the people who tell me that I didn't understand the series. Mm-hmm. It's like, did you even watch it? I'm like, did you see the fact that I've done over a hundred videos on it? I think I'm pretty familiar with Devil Man. Hey, seriously. Uh, but I, I, I even find that on uh, the Devil Man fan groups on Facebook, where somebody will, where where I'll be, where somebody's talking about how gay the devil is or uh, how gay Rio is, uh, I always tell them that he's a hermat, that, that he's like a hermaphrodite, and he's not like in real life how hermaphrodites work. Where yeah, it's yeah. Both. I mean, where it's one, where they're on one gender specifically. Yeah, because like people say, oh, but humans don't have true hermaphrodites, and it's like, yes, but he's not a human. He's the he's Satan. He's the devil. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And like it's even shown in the in in both Demon Knight also, and in retarded that people are defending the sexuality of Satan. Right. Seriously. No, but like um the um the uh, like in Devil Man Lady and in Demon Knight, both of those confirm that it's the female half of Rio that's in love with Akira. The male half doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I don't know, people, uh, people, then people the say, manga. they're like, you must not have read the manga because, yeah. because I read Shin Devil Man and I think that that garbage is canon. Yes, I hate Shin Devil Man. I don't like it. People take, uh, the LGB thing and trans thing way too far now. And yeah. It's really annoying and I, I try to ignore it. It, really... it. it gets harder and harder to do though with just how intrusive it is. Yeah, Shin it's Violence really... Jack seems way cooler than Shin Devil Man. Oh no, Shin Violence Jack is great. I love Shin Violence Jack. Nice. Well, what about Shin Godzilla? Yeah, I like I like Shin Godzilla. Good movie. I uh, Shin Godzilla used to be my favorite Godzilla. I don't think so now because I watched uh, the eighties Godzilla movies and I really like those. Have you ever seen Godzilla nineteen eighty four? That that one's my favorite. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I saw a bunch of them from the. I, I just watched recently a bunch of movies of Godzilla from the eighties. Yeah, that's the uh, the Cold War Godzilla. That's the I think that's the second Godzilla movie I saw. I saw I saw the first Godzilla movie I saw was King of the Monsters. The uh, the original the, movie the original American I saw version. Was the actual first Godzilla movie. Well, not the the the, 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 the Americanized version of the first Godzilla movie. Yeah, that's my first Godzilla movie. Okay. Forty. Yeah. My my first Godzilla movie was uh, Godzilla two thousand. Nice. And then I saw Godzilla ninety eight. And yeah, I saw Godzilla 2000 after I saw the original. Uh, hot take: uh, the the worst Godzilla movie is Destroy All Monsters. Destroy All Monsters. That, I haven't seen that one yet. That's the fourth one, right? No, it's like the uh, oh shit! It's after uh, no, like, it's like one of the last movies. Do you mean Final movie. Wars? What's that? Do you mean Final Wars or do you mean Destroy All Monsters? Destroy All Monsters. I, okay. I do not care about that movie. Okay. I, I haven't well, seen like, that one. Everybody loves that movie, but I don't like it. Okay. Because I was going to say Final Wars a lot of people don't like, but I think it's I think, I think think it's fun. It's just everything is too fast-paced and there's a lot in it. It's because of what people face didn't face. like that movie. I thought that movie was great. Yeah. What's his face directed that movie? Uh, the guy who did Versus. Every guy seen Versus? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. But it was what? No, it's it's a movie called Versus. Yeah, then no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, okay. versus what? <laughs> versus, versus, versus. It's just called Versus. It's about a bu- bunch of guys trapped in the uh, woods fighting an immortal dude. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, actually. It, it's okay. like uh, it's like really super violent and super gory. It has zombies and it has immortals. It's kind of like Highlander meets Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay. That's all cool and all, but I have a question. Are you, you going to say versus who again, Corbin? That's versus right. what? Yeah, there he goes. Versus. <laughs> versus your mom got him. Versus. That's uncalled for, really. I'm kind of offended by that. No, you're not. <laughs> V-E-R-S-U-S. Versus. Uh, it, 2000. 
If you keep answering the question seriously, he's going to keep asking the question because that's the kind of guy he is. <laughs> Versus Lord. So. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? I'm confused. <laughs> Shut up, Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no um i need I, like i need to do more like gona guy series like i've done a lot of like i've done most of the animes that are based on gona guy stuff on the channel already did you do a uh, new cutie honey yet a uh, new cutie honey i did forever ago yeah oh okay i forgot yeah okay. you, 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 i don't know how how long uh you've uh you've followed me but um w if you don't know there's a really embarrassing thing about my older gona guy videos uh, yeah, I called him Go Nagi. Go Nagi, <laughs> that's hilarious. And I called him that for like a ton of videos until I was corrected, and then I had to like correct it after. It. No, no, because the videos are already up. <laughs> oh, okay. But it's really embarrassing because, like, like my Abashiri family v review, I uh -huh. say Go Nagi like t ten times in one sentence. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh yeah, it's based on it was made by Go Nagi. And it's yeah. got all of the tropes of Go Nagi. It's a very Go I mean, Nagi series. I mean, you're not Japanese, and you know the pronunciation is so like all over the place with the Japanese language. You know, I mean, who cares? You know? Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I mean, granted, like, like, like the thing is, is like, like I corrected that because I actually like think that that's kind of that that one's kind of a funny one. But like, like with Rio, I will never say his last name correctly just because it pisses people off. Like I say. <laughs> I say Asuka, and people are like, you know it's Asuka, and I'm like, yeah, and you know you're fucking lame, right? Seriously. <laughs> I remember one time I said, I was just talking to, I was like, I said Naruto. Which is how uh, it's said. Wait, no, I said Naruto Shippuden, and then he was like, uh, it's Naruto, like, you said it, like, weirdly, I don't remember how he said it. No, was like, that, that drives me nuts, like, like, he said it was called Shippuden. That's not true. I thought it was and then, like, Naruto Shippuden or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Like, there, yeah, that's uh, my weeb coming out. <laughs> like, like, the, like, people who are, like, so, like, hung up on the pronunciation are some of the most annoying motherfuckers you'll run into. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. Like, oh, um... I, I never even watched uh, Naruto before. I mean, I've watched it, but I got, like, really bored of it, like, really quickly. I'm like, okay, this is not for me. I think it's funny that people think they're cool when they correct you on anime. Yeah, it's like, but it, it makes you seem like a fucking loser. Yeah. Like, it's like, 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 was it you, Corbin, who said that there's that guy that you know that only, like, only calls it Dibiru Man, even though he's not Japanese? Yeah. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, he's like, a Dibiru Man? Yeah, like, like, yeah, he says Dibiru Man, and he's like, he says if you call it Devil Man, that's incorrect, which is just not true. No, it's Devil Man. Yeah, like Debiru Man is not even a real Japanese word. It's a Jap. It's like a Japanization of the American word Devil Man. Devil, yeah. Oh my God. It's pretty funny. Uh, like uh, like it's oh, I don't way. call it Fist of the North Star. Like I call it Hulk Man. Calling, right? calling Godzilla. Nobody's gonna come to be like, actually, it's Gojira. Gojira, yeah. Like, like <laughs> fucking, it's Gojira. It's pronounced Gojira. Yeah, it's pronounced. Fuck, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like and, and nobody comes up to you if you say Cthulhu is like it's actually Cthulhu or Cthulhu. <laughs> the thing they they're like uh, if you don't pronounce it in the in the this in the in the alien tongue then you're not saying yeah that right. so it's literally yeah. impossible to pr pronounce Cthulhu correctly because it's actually supposed to be impronounceable. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm saying it's going to be funny if people are like you can't even say Cthulhu correctly. Yeah, but like, um, because I told Corbin, so how does this guy say Dragon Ball? And he's like, he says Dragon Ball. I'm like, well, why doesn't he say Dragon Ball? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't they say Dragon Ball Zetto or something? Dragon like Ball Zetto. Yeah, Zetto, whatever. <laughs> Fucking it's hilarious. Yeah, but like, like with Fist of the North Star, I call it Fist of the North Star. If people call it Hokuto no Ken, that's fine. Like, because I mean, yeah, I, I know what they're talking about, but I'm not going to call it that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, people, like, saying, like, uh, like, oh, I, I haven't watched Fist of North Star. I've watched Hope to No Ken, that kind of shit. That's lame. Like, There's people who do that? Ugh. Yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, like, like, the thing is, is I know technically Hokuto no Ken actually means Fist of the Big Dipper. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm still gonna call it Fist of the North Star because that's what it's called. Yeah, that's a badass. That's a badass title. Some yeah. of the some of the English localizations are kind of better. Like uh, Ninja Scroll. Like, have you? Do you know the original like title for that movie is? No. Ju- Jubei Wind Chronicles or Ninja Wind Chronicles or something like that. I'm like. That's lame. Yeah, I'm like Ninja Scroll. No, it's a Jubei Nubi I'm like. No, fucking ninja, call it ninja scroll for fuck's sake. Now, I used to be kind of pretentious in that. Like, I used to always call Future Diary Mirai Nikki. I don't anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do call, I, only, I do call Higarashi Higarashi though. I do do yeah. that. Or what is it's like, it's not Wada Mote. It's no matter how I look at it, it's you guys' fault. I'm unpopular. Yeah, the, the, only, the only time when, when I get really weeby, and it's not really being weeby, it's just correct, is... It's not Robotech. It's Macross. You fuck. Uh, those are the same series? <laughs> no. I mean, they, they, they are and they're not. They, I mean, Robotech is Macross, uh, Southern Cross, and Mosbeta uh, put into, like, crushed into one series. Oh, okay. And Macross is just Macross. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I call, uh, like, I do call Higurashi Higurashi, which, to be fair... That's that's mainly to distinguish it from Yumi Neko as well, but mm. is that the murder one? Uh, yeah. So Higarashi, it's like um, it's like this like small isolated village, and uh, like this uh, this new guy's been living there for a few months, and he starts to discover that the town's all culty, and like there's all these weird like conspiracies, and there was this murder like forever ago, mm-hmm. uh, and then like his, he starts to get really paranoid that his friends are gonna kill him. And then they do, but then time resets, and, like, there's multiple arcs that have, like, there's different, like, people die and do, like, basically, people always die, but then, like, at the end, they have to try and figure out a way to get out of it, and only one character actually has memory that the other timelines have even happened. Uh, 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 and that's not revealed until later in Higurashi, and then, like, they, then they, so there's actually four seasons of Higurashi, they did the last two ones fairly recently, they're good. I have mixed feelings about the ending, though, because 2 already had a good ending, and then, like, they brought it back for 3 and 4. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, like the ending to 4 is fine. I like it, but, like, it also kind of goes, like, the magical girl route a little bit, and it's kind of weird, but... Mm-hmm. You know what I think would be cool with, like, a, a time-reverse concept, like Groundhog Day? What's that? I think it'd be cool if there's, like, this guy who's, like, actually, like, a really good person... But, uh, like, once he goes through Groundhog Day and the day repeats over and over and over, like, he gets worse, like, every day and becomes, like, over time he just embraces evil. But the day he's, like, the most evil, like, he, the, the day he does the, like, worst, most evil stuff he does, that's the day the time goes back to normal. Yeah, there kinda you like go. Kind of like the opposite, like, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. I've never seen Edge of Tomorrow. Is that a Tom Cruise movie? That's a Tom Cruise. That's the based on the uh, All You Need Is Kill yeah, book. Yeah, and, and a lot of people think that the title of the movie is Live, Die, Repeat, because that's what the marketing was. Yeah, because was. that's the tagline, yeah. I mean, I wish, they would just, I wish they would just call it All You Need Is Kill. I mean, that's a pretty kick-ass title, but... Yeah. Edge of Tomorrow? Like, what the fuck? Apparently, you have to buy, you have to buy the uh, Japanese or Korean DVD Blu-ray to get that title. Uh, on the movie, all you need is kill. You know, um, with with titles, right? I always thought it was interesting the titles we get over here. Like, like Mad Max Two in the U.S. was just called The Road Warrior. The Road, yep. Yeah. Because the first Mad Max uh, did so poorly, like yeah. nobody watched it. Which I think is a shame that Mad Max One yeah. gets so overshadowed because I like Mad Max One, but I do think Two is the better one. Oh yeah, Two Two is a classic, bro. Like two like, I like because Two Two is like you know it's. It set the stage for what a lot of apocalyptic fiction would be. Um, but I do think that one is interesting because it's not apocalyptic, it's like the collapse of society. Mm-hmm. I like how Boy and His Dog started it all, though. Yeah, Boy and His Dog is great. Yeah. I think, uh, like, I think a Boy and His Dog had more influence over the apocalyptic, apocalyptic genre than anything. Well, because it influenced Mad Max, too. That's the thing, you know what I mean? What came yeah. first, uh, Boy and His Dog or Zardoz? That is a good question. Let me check. Because <laughs> Zardoz is, is pretty fucked. Fucked. Uh... Zardoz came out a year before Boy and His Dog, so Zardoz came oh, first. Oh wow! Yeah. What about one of 
Um, I know it's like this guy, like, doesn't he crash land on a planet, and then, like, he finds the big, like, head thing that talks to him, and he's like, I am Zardoz, and, like, it's revealed at the end it was, like, the Wizard of Oz. Well, I mean, he doesn't crash land. It's like a post-apocalyptic world where a floating head rules everything, and he, like, he spits oh, out the gun, and then the is like, your penis is evil, but God is good. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I saw, like, there's a channel I used to watch. I haven't really watched him in a while. Um, not because he necessarily did anything wrong, but just because I kind of got bored of his videos. Um, but he's, he does make good videos. But there's this guy, uh, George Rockall Schmidt. He did a video on Zardoz forever ago, and that's why I know what it is. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy movie. The, the guy who did uh, Zardoz directed uh, the sequel to... Uh... The Exorcist, that fucking massive movie. <laughs> Which one? Like, the the Exorcist 2, The Heretic? The Heretic, yeah. I hate that movie. That's the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it's the same director. I mean, that's the same style of uh, what he did at Zardoz. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking bonkers. Like, I don't know. I think you should, I think you should watch uh, Zardoz, because it's, it's fucking, it's not, it's not necessarily a good movie, but it is an interesting movie. Okay. Yeah, my... The, are the Planet of the Apes sequels good? I've only seen the first movie and then the the first uh, of the prequel. Are you talking about the, the sixties or the new ones? I think you mean, like, the, I mean 60s. the sequels. Huh? Because the new ones, I would say, are more like prequels, aren't they? I mean, oh, are you talking about the sequels to the original Planet of the Apes with Charles and Heston? Yeah, like the the original sequels. Uh, are they? Uh, the second one is meh. The, the third one, uh, the third one is Escape. That one's pretty. That's not, that one's pretty fucking dark. Uh, the fourth oh, one is. Uh, I, I like the dark. Like uh, that, that piqued my interest. What's that yeah, one about? The, 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 all right. The first one is Planet of the Apes, which is a classic. Uh, the second. Oh, I, I gotta get the wiki on this because it's gonna drive me crazy. The, the titles of these movies. Hold on. I really, I also really like the the prequel with uh, the. I guess it's like a remake prequel thing with James Franco. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I think that one gets I, a, that one gets a lot of hate, but it doesn't deserve it. But what, what really? I thought that was a good movie. All right, Planet of the Apes is the is the Charles Heston one. Beneath the Planet of the Apes is a, a sequel to it. It was meh. Escape Beneath from the Planet. Is that the one where they have the giant, the, the nuke? Yeah, beneath is when they the skinless people worship a giant H bomb. Yeah, that Escape one's eh. That one's eh. That one was really. Eh. Yeah, I think it's like that inspired like the 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 power of the the, the children of Adam. Adam worshippers and follow. Yeah, the children of Adam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it did, but I mean. I mean, it's it's an okay film, but the the third one, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, the time travel one where they time travel to like a, a like a seventies uh the seventies like world, that's pretty good. It has a dark ending. Conquest is the big uh, war of the Planet of the Apes. That one's pretty good. And Battle for the Planet of the Apes, that one was mad too. Oh, uh, Corbin, I want to correct. I want to correct, I wanna correct yeah, myself. Yeah. Uh, the James Franco yeah. one is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That one is not hated. People like that one. <clears throat> okay. So I thought you were talking about the Tim Burton one, because the Tim Burton one gets a lot of hate, and I think that one's actually pretty okay. I like I never... the... <laughs> There's like a part where he's like, get your hands off me, you damn dirty human. Yeah, that's the Tim Burton one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I watched Rise. Rise was pretty good. Dawn was pretty good uh war for planet of the apes was all right yeah i liked that trilogy for the most part like the, to be fair i've seen those in the tim burton one those are the only ones i've seen yeah like the, the original the original uh 60s and 70s one of uh, the first one is really good and the third one has a like a really dark ending and the, the rest of them are okay you know they're, they're they're take it or leave it you know okay i didn't like the sequels to rise of the planet of the apes no, I but I liked Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I like Dawn. Dawn was okay, but the the was the war one was was meh. It was pretty meh. Really? The only ones the only ones I've seen are the first Planet of the Apes, the remake by Tim Burton, and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, hang on. So I gotta wait. How do you how do you how can you say you don't like the other ones if you 
I say that like a casino. casino. I didn't say uh, I didn't like. I thought you did. Did I? You said you didn't oh, like the sequels to Rise. No, yeah, I don't like the sequels to Rise. I have saw, you have you have you yeah, seen the sequels see, to Rise? I, saw, I didn't see. I saw those ones, but I didn't okay. like them, so I didn't. I just didn't acknowledge them. All right. Well, well as I you saw, can see, we're not. I think I saw both I, sequels. I saw one of the sequels. I thought it was good. <laughs> I think both sequels are pretty good. Yeah, I liked them. Cool. Um, but yeah, um, I uh. As you can see, Spencer, we have moved on from RPGs, but if you want to steer it back in that way, you are welcome to. Like, it's a shit You're show. Fine. You know how it is. Yeah, what, what did you even talk about? Uh, we talked about Fallout. Uh, we talked briefly about KOTOR. I mentioned Undertale and Deltarune in passing. Uh, we talked about Elder Scrolls. Um, we talked about... Th then we started talking about, like, anime, manga, OVAs. Go to a guy. Yeah, go to guy. You need to play Silent Hill games already. Oh yeah, we mentioned Silent Hill. <laughs> the remake. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, you need to play Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4. And Downpour. Homecoming is optional. And uh, Silent Hill Origins is optional. Shattered Memories is optional. Okay. But yeah. Um, <laughs> The first four in Downpour are the best ones. Yeah. Also, there's you, you play like in first person when you're in your apartment in four. Oh, okay. You guys and think? Are you? Are you? God. Are you excited for the uh, remake of Silent Hill Two? I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not either. Just because, like, again, when th when there's things I like and I hear that it's coming back, I tend to be very skeptical. Because I think the best to play game is the way it came out. Like, I don't even really like playing these games on playing on Xbox One. I'd rather play them on the original consoles. True. I mean, the Resident Evil remakes are pretty good. But, I mean, I've only played the f first two. Yeah, I, um, like, there, 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 there were times like when I'm... Resident Evil remake. I don't like Red, the remake of Resident Evil 2. Because I think they made, like, uh... They made... What's his name? From Resident Evil 2. I remembered it. I forgot it. <laughs> uh, what, Leon? Yeah, Leon. Uh, but he, uh, he, they make him like a, they make him really lame in the Silent Hill 2 remake. Silent like, Hill like, 2? Well, that's pretty uh, crazy. Silent Hill 2? He looks so boyish. He looks... Corbin, pathetic. do you even realize the mistake you made? Oh, or the way he, the way he looks looks lame to you yeah no, he, he, he called it silent hill 2 and i'm not i'm not gonna let him let that go right oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> hey i just get mixed up with my words as well yeah but, uh, i'm drinking leave me alone i'm drinking A after that after after that versus thing i had to corbin <laughs> I mean, Resident Evil 2, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, bro, you're good. You know, but like, um, like, to be fair, I think Leon was at his best in 4. When he rescued the president's daughter? I, yeah, that's when he was cool. He was yeah. cool in the original Resident Evil 2. I don't know why he's so lame in the remake. President Wesker's daughter. <laughs> President Wesker. <laughs> but, like, I, I like 4 just because of how, like, over the top it is. Nice. Yeah. I like. I just think the Resident Evil Two is like one of the like scariest games on PS Two. Like I think the the three best horror games on PS Two is Resident Evil Two, Dino Crisis, and Silent Hill Two. You guys think I should play all the bad Fallout games on the channel too? Yes. Like even Fallout Shelter. <laughs> yeah. I play Shelter. Wait, hang on, hang on. So I actually need to push back. Fallout Shelter isn't a bad game. Okay, you think Fallout Shelter is bad? You don't. I don't. Game. Yeah, what? I just, I just said it. I don't think it is. You don't think and it's bad, Corbin? Huh? You don't think it's bad? Fallout Shelter is just a fun app game with like, where you send the. It's fun to build the vault and send people out. Okay, I thought it was just one of the like. I thought it was just one of those lame mobile games, but okay, I guess I'll do it. No, it's actually pretty cool. You get to make your own vault. You're the overseer. 
Okay. Well, then I guess that answers that. I guess I'll play Shelter at some point. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but you guys think I should play seventy six? Granted, I don't think you're gonna like it because you're not you're not a fan of like the base builder games. You're not. I love those kind of games. It depends. We'll see. I like uh, like the Simpsons Tapped Out. Kind of reminds me of that. I like that game. Well, that's a bad mobile game, though, isn't it? Simpsons Tapped Out. That's bad. I mean, it's just I one of like Simpsons. Like it's just one of those like really bad like oh pay money to to build your shit better like pay real world money. Uh, well, I mean, like, you can, you, you don't have to pay money. Well, like, the gameplay in Tapped Out is you just tap the screen over and over again, don't you? Yeah, I mean, isn't that the true about every app on anything? Well, that's why I don't like mobile games. I mean, that literally, that literally is, like, the controls on okay, but games. Okay, but that's, the screen. okay, that's, that's <laughs> semantics. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, like, literally, it's like a clicker game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, like, oh, that's, yeah, that's, out is absolutely a clicker game. Any kind of app game. Is a clicker game. My no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, that's not true. Not every app game is a clicker game. Yeah, like um, like South, like South Park on uh, South Park uh, Phone Destroyer. I don't really like that game. It's not a clicker game, but it's one of those games that plays itself, where you just put units on the field and they battle for you. That's not a clicker game because a clicker game is where you just tap the spot over and over again to get more money. Yeah, no. Uh, Fallout okay. Shelter isn't like that. Okay. It could be mistaken, but isn't it a point and click game? No, uh, those are two different oh. genres. Yeah, so it is, it is called a clicker game. Yeah, so point and click, a point and click is like a point and click adventure. Oh, okay. Uh, a click. So you can tell how 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 updated I am with the lingo. Yeah. Of, uh, well, I I only know what a clicker game is because of Spiral Clicker, which is a porn game on Newgrounds. Um. Hell yeah. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Spiral, spiral Clicker? It's the one where you, like, hypnotize these women into becoming your harem. I, I, I've never played any of those kind of games before. <laughs> I, 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 did, I, I was doing reviews of a bunch of different Newgrounds games for a while on the channel. I need to get back to it. There's some of them I'm like, I don't know if I want to talk about, like like DFD. And if you know that one, then you know, but... Um, What's DFD? You just had to ask that question. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> what is, it, is that what it's called, or are you abbreviating it? Both, but they're not allowed to say the name anymore. What is it? Uh, what, the name? Yeah, DFD, what is that? Uh, what, like, what it stands for? It stands for Daughter for Dessert, but... It's this like game. Daughter for breakfast or da daughter for what? Daughter for dessert. Daughter for, din daughter for dinner. Oh, dessert. That's right. Dessert. So like, <laughs> so it's a game where you play like as this guy who runs a diner with your daughter, but like it turns oh, out no. your daughter has these daddy fantasies and wants to fuck you. Holy shit. Um, but like, there's a bunch well, of. At least she's into it, right? <laughs> well, yeah, she's the one. She's the one who's into it. Um, but like, <laughs> the thing is, is like, um. There, there, there's also like a bunch of other characters and a bunch of other different girls and you can get different endings with different girls and shit um, but like you always fuck her at one point in the game that's not optional um, is, there, is there a MILF character with fat titties um not really oh darn I really want to see you play Leisure Suit Larry Magna Cum Laude yeah I just I, I, I like how retarded that game is that you guys so, play. You guys know that there's actually also, a. So it's really misogynistic. So I think you like the. Okay. Cool. But you know um you know uh you know uh there's actually a DFD reference in uh in Sergeant Friends. Oh, there is. Yeah. So like the in uh in the episode Sherlock Bones, there's the part where his toaster gets stolen. If you don't know, there's a C, there's a subplot in DFD. Where your toaster gets stolen and your cop buddy is like obsessed with it, trying to hunt it down, and you're you're you don't really take it that seriously, but he's like, "I'll make this my number one priority," and it's this whole big thing. Um, mm. uh, so like, no, but like the thing is that DFD is like any other Newgrounds game that has run by Patreon. They had to change it to remove all the incest, but like it's still there. It's just they had to change the words, so you'll constantly refer to her as your childhood friend instead of your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, Bud Friend and Pal is from Dual Family, which is another one of those kind of I games. I know, I'm but... just pointing out similar. <laughs> um, but she does call you Buddy instead of Daddy and stuff like that. Oh. No, but, like, it's really funny because, like, there's a line where, um, like, that very clearly, like, because it says that you raised her, too. 
but then it like also <laughs> it also mentions that like you're not her father, but then you very clearly are because there's a flashback where you have sex with her mother, and it says that uh, we'll deal with the consequences of this, meaning you just conceived her. Jesus, it's <laughs> the guy who made that game is actually dead now, by the way. What happened? Oh. Uh, the, 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 the details aren't known. It's just like they they updated it. He finished the game. He realized that it was his greatest accomplishment, and he, and he peaked, so he had to end his own life. <laughs> well, he he made he, he, die a hero. He, he didn't want to live long enough to become a villain. He made another he wrapped, game. He actually made another he wrapped, game after that uh, called. Yeah, he wrapped a, a belt around his neck and jerked off, and then that, that's how he died. Yeah, there you go. No, he loved. He did. Um, he did. Um. He did make another game after that, actually, called Double Homework, where you have these two redhead sisters, and, again, it's the same guy, so you can imagine where it goes, but... Nice. Did they scissor? I, I don't know. I never finished uh, Double Homework. He <laughs> never finished. I, 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 I beat DFD. I beat DFD, but I never beat Double Homework. <laughs> that, that, you finished DFD. Yeah, I finished DFD. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo, did I ever explain to you how the gameplay in Leisure Slayer and Magna Cum Laude works? It's, it's like a party game, isn't it? No, it is not a party game. Okay, how does it work then? I'm a party game. You have to seduce these random women, but, uh, and you have to, uh, one of the and uh, but you have to do it through the dialogue where it's like uh, it's, I don't want to say it's like a Guitar Hero because it's not really like that, but it's kind of where you have to hit the right things, but it's like a. But if you hit the right things, you say a, a dialogue line that's persuasive. But if you hit one of the wrong ones, you say something that embarrasses yourself. But it's actually pretty funny, like because okay. the dialogue is just written in a way that's really retarded, but it's really funny. Is it like is is the dialogue like super seducer bad or? Uh, I don't know how it's because it's because it's kind of it's self aware of how stupid it is. Like, have you ever, you ever seen Super Seducer? Because that one's kind of like that, where you can have, like, really dumb dialogue that, like, is embarrassing and bad. Literally, like, there was... It, I think it was... It's either two or three. If I had to guess, it would be three. Um, where you can literally have yourself jerk off into a plant at a at a, at a a office meeting. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> And one guy, like you're the boss, right? Jerking off into a plant in in the in the in the meeting, um, and one guy just he's the he's the only guy who just stays there the entire time <laughs> and just watches. <laughs> My God, <laughs> that's pretty great. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I I used to watch like hentai. Back then, I don't know about this whole video game. I never watched anything of the sort. I watched uh, Bible Black in English. Oh, nice! <laughs> that shit's hilarious in English. You ever seen La Blue Girl? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember the uh, the VHS tapes. You can't you can't uh, get any episodes uncut now because of that fucking ninja. Yeah, well the thing oh, is that option. That option, by the way, that mm -hmm. option where you jerk off into the plant. It's, it straight up says, <laughs> jerk off to the plant. It's a power move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Super Seducer's something else. <laughs> it's on console, too, isn't it? Like, it's on PS4. Yeah, it is on console. <laughs> I, I like how we started with, like, RPGs, and now we're just talking about degeneracy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But that's the shit show for you. Yep. Um. But yeah, um, like yeah, like the blue girl. I know that, uh, like, cause like all the nin nin scenes scenes were removed. Yeah. Yeah. Which is dumb, cause he's a midget. He's not a kid. He's a midget. Yeah, he's a midget. He's like a little ninja midget guy. Yeah. That gets erections and comes on her all yeah. the time. But yeah, you can't find uh, uncut episodes of La Blue Girl anymore. I mean, you can. The VHS is yeah, but not the DVDs. DVDs are. Cut. Yeah, my blue girl's cool. I like it. Like like Toshio Maeda, I actually genuinely think writes good stories for his series. Oh, yeah. Like that's what yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's why I love like Yorotsuki Doji. It's one of my favorite animes. Oh yeah, that that that. that uh, I'm hoping that uh, someone. I mean, I know they released the movie version on Blu-ray, but I'm hoping that someone will do the OAV version. Yeah, someone actually does like a re-release of the perfect collection. Yeah. Is there any Cthulhu hentai? 
I'm sure there is. Uh, there is a Cthulhu anime. Um, yes, Cthulhu yes, there is a, there is a, there is a well, I, I wouldn't say it's a hentai, it's more of an etchy. Okay. But, I don't remember what it's called, though. I'm sorry. Okay, there is... I do actually know there is a Lovecraft hentai that I've watched and reviewed that's actually really good. It's called Mystery of the Necronomicon. Oh, yeah, that's the hentai one. Yeah, yeah that one's good. It's it's not Cthulhu, but it's Lovecraft. Uh, do, you, do you think that it should be, like... like Do you consider, it can, like, the Evil Dead the way the Necronomicon looks? Do you consider that to be canonically, like, what the Necronomicon should look like? I mean, yeah, in my head, even though that's not how it's described in Lovecraft's works, that's how I picture it looking, so yeah. The Book of the Dead, yeah. And then there's a Cthulhu... Like, that should be just canon now. Yeah. To Lovecraft. Yeah. There is a Cthulhu anime made in the 80s. It's called, uh, Fight XR1. Any good? Yeah, it's, uh, three episodes and, uh, one... It's three episodes, and then they put all the episodes together to make a movie. It's a, it's classic. It's a classic uh, anime. It's really awesome. It was never dubbed, though. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if there, as long as there, I can find subs of it, I might check it out. I mean, what'd you I say it was? What's that? What'd you say it was? Fight XR1. How do you spell that second word? Hold on. Let me, let me get my file up here. I have it on my movies. I can stream it right now if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, but, uh... Uh, uh fight, uh, you know, F-I... G-H-T. G-H-I, uh, uh, I-C-Z-E-R-1. Found it, okay. Um, let's see... Well, I can, I, I can show you the first episode. Yeah, we could probably do that. Maybe after the shit show, obviously, but... Okay, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, I don't know how much longer we want to go for this. These things are always indeterminate in length, because, you know, that's just kind of the nature of them. We just kind of end when we feel... Ten like hours, so that way we could be a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Andy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the anime everyone else likes that you hate? Um... Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, I'll yeah. Be- Fuck you guys! What? <laughs> 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 right. uh, okay, I'll get I haven't on, seen Attack on Titan, but I, from what I saw, it looked like it, it wasn't like bad. The first season well, is mean, great. It, the, the the rest of it I don't like. Well, I mean, it's all it's really beautiful looking, but the one thing I couldn't reconcile, like, I know that they're they're afraid, right? These characters are afraid, but then they just go on and on and on and on and how they're afraid and they're afraid of dying. See, oh, wow. Granted, How dare yeah. they be afraid of death? No, no, no. I'm Jesus saying, Christ. Like, hey, hey, listen. <laughs> these are soldiers. Living, we, these are trained soldiers, and they will not shut the fuck up about how they're going to die. And it's really annoying. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't they, care. It doesn't matter how well they were sense. trained. Really? I don't care. Listen, there's another anime that I love. It's a remake of a... I think there's a pretty big deal in that, in that scenario. It's called, it's called Space Battleship Yamato. And the whole fate of the world is in their hands, and they can die, but they don't. They don't talk about how they're going to die. They do their job, and they do it sufficiently and without panicking, you know. And they they're professional soldiers, and they they're doing like a really dangerous job, and they're not like contemplating. Oh my God, this really could kill me. See, they're okay, actually doing that. Was a good chance? Be, hang on, no, no, hang on. Kind of a good thing to be afraid to some degree. Yeah, hang on. No, 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 absolutely. Um, no, hang on. I'm going to. I, I want to. I want to address this. <laughs> um. Um. What do do these people in this? Because I haven't heard of it before. Do they have a chance of winning? Their chances of winning is slim to none. But they. They feel like they can probably get it done, though, I assume, right? Yes, they have one year. Okay. They have one so year's ignorance. Here's the thing about it in Attack on Titan. Okay. They lose constantly. Yes. Every time they have, every time they go and, you know, do anything, they always lose. Even when they obtain victory, it's mm-hmm. still like, it still comes with heavy losses or really the losses outweigh the victory. And they're that, very uh, annoying spo- about it. Spoiler, spoiler, the the biggest victory they ever obtained in the series, the scouts have ever obtained in the series, they ended with, out of every single scout that exists, 
only nine of them were left. I know. At the end of that. Yeah. You see, that's not my problem with Attack on Titan. He already knows my problem because we've argued about it plenty of times. Um, What's your problem? My problem with it is that, like, starting with, like, mid-season three, they stop being about, like, the Titans being, like, these monsters and start, like, humanizing them and making it, like, this war between the two. And, like, they try to make the Titans, like, somewhat sympathetic because they were, like, you know, discriminated and all these bad things happened to them. It and all does this sound shit. stupid, yeah. yeah. It's very specific. No, hang on. No, he's, he's, like just being, these things are giant he's actually being, no, he's being stupid. He's, he's being stupid with his, with the way he's describing it. Okay. Cause it's not all Titans that are sympathetic. It's very specifically the Titan shifters. Uh, yes. Because they are all huge. These all okay. Yes. Yes. The, the, the Titan shifters. Yes. Like the colossal Titan who was really creepy and cool in the first episode. And then is just a wimpy little wiener later on. Listen, I, I only saw the first season and I got pissed when, uh, well, I didn't get pissed. I was like really riveted when uh, Armin got killed by that Titan, like got, got eaten by it. I'm like, holy shit. Anybody can die in this in the series. Aaron, yeah. Aaron, not Armin. Aaron. Why would I think Aaron? Yeah, it's, Armin. Armin. It's, 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 it's Aaron that died. Yeah, but then he comes yeah, back. Yeah, but then he comes back as a colossal titan, and I kind of got, got well as a titan shifter. Pissed. The colossal titan's a specific one, but yeah. Yeah, he didn't. Come I kind of got pissed, and I, I was like, all right, I'll, I'll watch the rest of the season, but this this show's not for me. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, I, I just, it didn't, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be, like, a horror series, and then later on it's, like, a yeah. war series. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, anyways, my answer is Dung and Rumpa. Okay. I never the Titans are just big and ugly, and uh, I just don't like them based on that and think they should all die. There you go. Yeah. Based. Tag of Titans over, right? <laughs> 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 Yeah, um, it, is the anime over yet, Spencer? The, the, the manga, the manga's over. The last season will be airing soon. The last season, like part four or something. Yeah, part three. <laughs> the final season, part three. Yeah, they keep milking the final season because they're like the final season, part one. The final season, part two. <laughs> final season, part three. <laughs> they they really want to drag it out because because they know it's a cash cow right now because it's well, popular. yeah, it makes a lot of money. Yeah, uh, I heard uh, like the month. The, uh, the original author said if they, they want to do another anime without him, he has its blessing or something. I don't know. I, I think I heard about that. Oh. I don't know what they'll do. Like, the end is, like, a pretty definitive end and doesn't lead, to have, like, anything to be, really be done after. Well, I mean, I mean, say that to Gundam. Gundam ended, but then they, like, did all these Gundam shows, like, with universal timeline, different timelines and all that. Hell, okay, yeah, one. but, like, that's that's different because like it's a universe that you could expand further. Well, yeah, I mean, you really like, expand that's, further off of yeah, off that's of what, what I, the ending is. Yeah, that's what I meant. He said if they wanted to do more Attack on Titan, like you know, different universes or something like that, or a spinoff, he'll he'll gladly let him do it without him being involved. Okay, I, I can give a different answer as well since we talked so much about Attack on Titan. I can give another answer of an anime I don't like that everyone does, and that's My Hero Academia. I've never seen it before. It's super overrated. I really hate, like, the later seasons. They're so dumb. <laughs> yeah, like, I like the first few seasons, but, like, overall, I think the show is kind of overrated. It's just kind of like, um... It's kind of like the same plot as, like, Soul Eater and Blue Exorcist, but with superheroes instead of, uh, demons and, uh, Grim Reapers. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta say that, um... um my, mine is easily Duncan Rumpa, but I guess that's more of a video because it's based on a video. What, what is that? Duncan Rumpa? What? What is that? Yeah, it's just it's just an anime. Well, it's a game that everyone really likes, but there is an anime for it as well. Um, I, I just don't like it. Let me see what it looks like. Duncan Rumpa? Do you know one that I like? It's not one that I haven't, I don't like because I haven't seen it, but one that I just don't have any interest in watching just because everyone tells me I need to. Mm. Uh, Demon, Slayer. Yep, Demon Slayer. Yep, Demon Slayer. Yep, Demon Slayer. I don't want to watch that because I think I think that it, with when, with the concept like killing demons, like this whole idea of oh we got to be empathetic to them and the main hero is this little boy who's gonna do great things someday. I hate those kinds of stories. Yeah, like every, yeah, I, I hate that every. I saw, like, Go ahead. I saw like the first like four episodes and it's 
it's shown in as hell and I've seen it before. I'm like, all right, I, yeah. it's, this is not interesting as a I, I hate that every modern show. Like, what has... if we take a cool concept? What if we take a cool concept like demon slaying, like with we with, with Devil Man and then Doom, and just take out the masculinity? Right, that's Great. basically what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, I but like honestly, I I'm pretty sure if I really thought about it, like I have a pretty big and long list of anime that other people like that I hate because I firmly believe that most anime watchers are stupid. Yeah, I agree. Hey, hey come on now. You're a bunch of dumb I'm an anime watcher. Who like anything. I, I said most. I, uh, well, if you're going to take offense to it, uh, <laughs> 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 no, give me the list of anime that you hate that everybody loves. I said if I if I think about it, I could probably make a list. Um, if you think that know. anybody who thinks that uh, okay, so being a weeb is bad, but at least you're not furries. Oh no, I'm a weeb, bro. That's, yeah, but he I'm said at least you're not a furry. Oh okay. yeah, furries. <laughs> you're still pathetic, <laughs> no, but at least you're not a furry. Oh yeah, I am. No, dude, I, vintage. Weeb, I mean, vintage. I'm a vintage weeb, but I'm not these fucking furry fucks. I saw an article the other day. Let me. I, I, this is the title. Oh, uh, give me. Uh, give me. Give me your opinions on it. Egyptian lawyer says it's a national duty to rape girls who wear revealing clothing, like ripped jeans. Based. <laughs> <laughs> is that a that. real? Is, is that a real thing that someone said? Yes. It's a real that, thing. This guy is a lawyer. Yes. How the it's fuck Egyptian does this guy lawyer. have a law degree? <laughs> Jesus, I don't know about that. Oh, uh. Well, yeah, obviously that's the point. That's I was being facetious. <laughs> I, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, um, that's a that's that's a take. Yeah, <laughs> I mean he's Egyptian. I mean, I mean, can he walk like an Egyptian though? Because if so, I think it's forgivable. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I've seen Egyptian art, and I think honestly, it's terrible. And uh, I think that they were just—they uh, just made a bunch of big triangles. <laughs> and their arms are funny looking. Why are they? Full? They look like flat, linear. So like, uh, like they look like like they look like. It, like uh, they were not like 2D like I know like any if you draw anything it's like 2D but uh how do I exp like look like it's less than that 1D um here's a it's 1D yes but it's like a straight line uh here's well actually it wouldn't even be a straight line either because it would have to be uh because literally only one dimension exists it'd literally be unable to see but okay but yeah, yeah a straight line is like the clo line. is the closest like thing we could we could imagine yeah um so uh here here's a little here's a little life hack for everyone um watching this and also the people here uh to avoid red lights uh so so avoid red lights by driving at uh 114 million uh, 4,827 miles per hour. This velocity will blue shift them enough to appear green. Okay. Nice. <laughs> well, well, what, what would happen to my body, though? My body would, like, crush under its own... Don't worry about it. <laughs> In Macross Plus, I know when... I the G's hit me. Anyway, I, I, I'm going to make the point I've been trying to make for like 10 minutes. Uh, I hate oh, that... No, I, I, I hate... All agree. Hey, <laughs> shut up. He's trying to make a point. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I hate that every modern shonen has to have that wimpy teenage protagonist that just doesn't give up. I miss the big muscle men we used to have. Hey, yeah, I... bro. Hey, Amen. I, I think muscle like, uh... I mean, I, I know he's not realize, realize, though, it's good because it's like... Like, he, he he actually is, like, determined. He's not, like, this wimpy little kid who's, like, always, like, I can't, I have to think about the, my actions and how they affect other people. Are you talking well, about I'm going to go ahead and say that Aaron isn't a wimpy kid. <laughs> he wants to kill all the Titans. I know he's not muscular, but at least we're getting a Rioni Kenshin uh, 
remake. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then you asked me about muscle women. I um, like I don't find them attractive, but they can be interesting characters in anime, like Iron Virgin June, or um, I'm sure there's others. What about fit women? Fit women. Fit women, yeah. Again, it depends. Like, I, I'm not like, cause I, I, I'm, I, again, I'm fairly traditional with gender roles. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. Um, there can be a woman that is toned and takes good care of herself that I find attractive, but like, if she starts to get like, you know, all all buffed up, mean, that's when I have kind of a problem. Like, yeah. not not like a problem is in that they can't do it, but a problem is in I'm not interested. Wasn't there like a, a fit woman in a in a what's it called a Attack on Titan? Uh, the friend Mikasa there she's you not, go yeah and she's not like buff her. as hell huh? <laughs> she's not like buff yeah but he was saying she's, yeah. Fit. she's fit yeah yeah that's what I that's think hot. the best women uh, are the ones that do absolutely nothing <laughs> there you go <laughs> based <laughs> okay yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the best part when they shut up and you have, yeah. the, you have the same you have the same fetish as Chizu. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chizu's an odd fellow. <laughs> no, Ch- Chizu's fetish is fat. Yeah, she said do she says does nothing that would make them fat. <laughs> no, they just I, they don't I, I include eating in there. Yeah, they don't. So they're just dead. <laughs> they don't even eat. <laughs> yeah, Cor- Corbin yeah. is a necrophiliac confirmed. <laughs> Maybe, possibly. <laughs> I, you, you don't know until you try. I don't know. Big tits and no brain. Are good Dude, things. I saw, I saw, I saw somebody bring up something that I thought was really funny. Um, right. That if you want to, like, let's say you have a game, you made a, you made a multiplayer game with all these different characters, and you want to decrease a pick count for a character because, like, they're really strong or something like that. Instead of buffing them. Just no. Instead of nerfing them to make sure that the pick count is decreased, uh, just out them as either a pedophile, necrophiliac, or zoophile, um, and then people will be all like, "Oh yeah, you play them anymore." <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Got some real Rick and Morty burps going on in here. Sorry. No, it's, it's fucking with you. Life is meaningless, <laughs> Burke. <Micro, laughs> <laughs> the one thing Fallout 3 is missing. What's the one thing? For me- necrophilia? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> that should have been in Fallout 3, honestly. Okay, I don't know if this is a real line. I, and I don't know if this will play through the TV. Hold on. Because uh, this this is really funny. and it's, it's, it's from Oblivion. I don't know if it's a real line, though. Can't hear it. Hold on. <laughs> I thought you were playing it. Hold on. Pish. What can I do for you? I'm the only alchemist in Skingrad. Not much business here, but I can't go back to Morrowind. It's just like anywhere else in the Empire. By the way, do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? <laughs> just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I think it I think like the actual line in the game might be necromancy but necrophilia yeah. <laughs> but like I, I that, that's I a like really well made edit though like in RPG games like uh like people that like uh like in RPGs like I feel like necromancers should be known for necrophilia and stuff like that <laughs> Animalism, like that just fits like their character. <laughs> yeah. Like that'd make it more that'd make an interesting world. I want, I think war, games need to have dark realism in them. I think we need how dark. dark. I like mean, I think it should, they should go all the way. Like feel like like be as like because there's no real movie in, in game I think that captures how dark real life is. Yeah, I mean the world is a twisted place. I think like more messed up stuff has happened in real life than has ever happened in till in in a movie. True. You guys know I. Do I say this one? Yeah, I, I'll say this one. So there was this um there's this guy at work right like for like this was like a couple of years ago. Um and he was trying to like show off how like cool and dark and edgy he was right. 
Mm-hmm. And I can't remember what I said, but I brought up Daisy's Destruction, which, by the way, is illegal. <laughs> I know this story. Yeah, you do. Um, but so if you guys don't know, Daisy Des- Daisy's Destruction is a snuff film that was made that involved an 18-month-old baby. Jesus. Uh, and I, I, I brought it up, and he's like, oh, I haven't seen that one yet, but I want to. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, because he, he didn't actually know what it was. He was just trying to seem cool. Well, I mean, you could have described a Serbian film, and it wouldn't have been much different. That's, that's actually how the conversation started, because we were talking about a Serbian film. But the key difference with a Serbian film is that's fake. Yeah, I know, but did he know, did he understand what you were, that... Did he understand what? Did he understand that? Did he understand what he just said? Yeah, well, like, because that's, that's how the conversation started. And then I said that, and then I told him what it was, and he's like, oh, shit. And I'm like, yeah, maybe you should, you know, not just eagerly say, oh, yeah, I want to see that, when I just say shit like that. I still haven't well, seen I mean, like, if you're film. describing just some random... A Serbian movie, film... I would have said, yeah, I want to see that, but if, if you said it was real life, then I would be like, oh, no, never mind. Like, a Serbian film is actually a pretty good, like, thriller. It's really dark yeah. and fucked up, but it's a... Like, the third act of the movie is the most fucked up part, and it's it's my favorite part of the movie, too. Like, it's genuinely I hard to... I think Cannibal look. Holocaust is better. I think Cannibal Holocaust only, is better overall, but I do like a yeah. Serbian film. I've only seen the uh, that one scene in the Serbian film. I like, actually think Cannibal Holocaust, Holocaust is more of the Yeah. That, that scene's not even, like, the... Like, that's not the one that, like, shocked me the most, probably because I already knew it was coming... Uh-huh. What scene? Newborn he, part. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the it's the baby scene. Um, and that like, scene wasn't as bad as people say it was. No, because yeah. it, it doesn't like graphically show everything, and like no. also it's very clearly a fake baby. Like when you look it at is. it, yeah. yeah. Um, but like the um, the the scenes that like I thought were the most fucked up is like in the third act when he's going around finding out all the shit they made him do, like. Like, what now, nobody spoil this movie because Angela hasn't seen it, but Angela really needs to watch Old I Boy. I watch it. Old Boy? Yeah? Yeah, you need to watch Old Boy. Yeah, oh, I do. Yeah, good movie. Not the, re- not the terrible reason. But yeah, obviously. No, no, not with Josh Brolin, no. The original Korean version. Dude, Thanos? <laughs> but the original, the, it's, a, it's like a really good movie. That's and what I I've think, heard, yeah. I think you'd like, and you like, like, twisted movies, so I think you'd like it. Okay. Yeah, when we were playing through, uh, when we were playing through, um, A Way Out, uh, he, uh, uh, we were doing a part in, in the, cause, cause A Way Out is, there's a lot of references to old, like, action movies, right? Um, and Old Boy is one of the, is one of the movies that's referenced, and I was talking about how, you know, how cool, cool that is, and, uh, Angelo never seen it, in which I told him already that you know he should. He should so watch it. you you know them you know the iconic like end scene in um in a way out where you know he grab they grab their hands and like look at each other for like one final bro moment. Well, depending on which ending, yeah. That scene is actually like v- shot for shot a scene from the movie Heat. Oh yeah, with uh, Al Pacino and uh, Val Kilmer. Uh, Robert De Niro. Or Robert De Niro. What did I say? What did Val, I say? You said Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer is in it, so you're right. He is in it. No, I mean it was Al Pacino, Val Kilmer, Robert De Niro. Yeah, no, you were right. You were right. No, I, was, no, I, really I wasn't correcting you. I was just saying oh. that Robert De Niro was in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was actually surprising in a way out. Yeah, no, because uh, I played with Corbin. And he didn't know the ending, and I, and first I played with Spencer, and I didn't know the ending. A way out's a good game. Didn't they also make the like terrible like game where it's like we have to repair our ma- marriage with puzzles? Yeah. It takes two. That's not a bad game. What the hell? <laughs> well, I think I it perfectly. We have to go save our marriage with puzzles. Isn't there a puzzle game with Christine or something? That dating one. Christine. Catherine. Catherine. There we go. I was gonna say like Christine, the ghost car. No. Catherine. Oh, I like that game actually. Catherine. Not the ter- not the terrible like remake they did of it. I think that game sucks. You guys know that they're uh, they're doing a new lollipop chainsaw. Yeah, and they they can't use like uh, the the songs or anything for the remake. They have to do brand new songs or something. I, I yeah. I'm just surprised because I, 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 I didn't think lollipop chainsaw would get made nowadays because the whole point of the game is ogling the main chick. Yeah. 
based. Yeah. Well, I think I think uh, I think it's basically over. Uh, the whole uh, SJW thing is 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 on its deathbed for the pe- next uh, two years. I, I hope think so. the media though itself is still gonna be terrible. Like we have to like create oh, yeah. a new right. media that's just because it, it, it what we it, have is just fucked. Yeah, it won't correct itself for another three years. Like we just need to, it just needs to completely die out before yeah. anything before we can really. Well, it's like. like do you, I mean, do you think like that new uh, Black Adam movie is gonna do well? I think that movie. <laughs> <gonna do well. laughs> Holy shit! That Dude, really I fun. love how 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 like how how um that movie is very obsessed with being all like, yeah, we're gonna have a superhero that kills people. Like, it's like a new thing. Yeah. Dude, I think it's funny how Rock Johnson is, like, insecure about his abs. Is he really? Yeah, he's like... Dude, he's the man like is like built like a uh, tank. Why would he be insecure? He's insecure because he doesn't have abs. Like, he has everything else, but he doesn't have abs. Does he have, like, a, uh, what's that, medical condition? Like... Ligma? Well, that's the excuse he says, uh-huh. but it the, uh, but it's actually just like he just doesn't want to get abs. Like he just doesn't really want to put in the effort to do it. What do you guys think about the situation in Hangonda? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, 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 the situation in Hangonda. Uh, I think it's terrible. Yeah, pretty bad. What is that situation? Hangonda. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What Hang is on to these nuts. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> what is that one going? Hang on to hang on to this dick. Got him. <laughs> Who what? is Joe? <sighs> what are your guys' thoughts on Hava? Have a nice no. day. Got him. What? I said have a nice day. Got him. Lamau got him. It's, it's Lamau got him. Okay. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> um. Jesus. You know, you know another. What do you guys think of Rorschach? Great character, my favorite American comic book character by far. Uh, I think. Uh, my what's his name? Oh my god. Alan Moore's a dickhead. Oh, yeah, no, Alan Moore's yeah. a commie piece of shit. I hate him, but I love Rorschach. Yeah. Alan Moore's extremely pretentious. I hate him so much. I, I mean, mean, I even think that a lot of stuff in Watchmen <laughs> is pretentious. Like, where he's like, when my father found out the time is relative, he threw out all the clocks, and he, we had to quit our job making clocks. Yeah. No, Al, I, I don't like Alan Moore, but I really like Watchmen. Like, Rorschach is a good character because he's supposed to be, like, a bad example, but he's, like, the, the best character. Yeah. <laughs> he's the most, most interesting character. Yeah, well, well I, I think, I think, I think he's, he's just, like, best. Not just like, most... interesting. I think, like, he's justified. Yeah, like, I, I think, I think he's, for like, the... actually the hero of the, of the story. I agree. Like, in that universe, he is needed. Sure. Like, uh, like, I, I even, like, uh, I even agree with the way he treats criminals. Like, uh, because <laughs> they're just... He's not. He doesn't. He like. I'd say that all the people he kills in the movie are like, the least people that deserve it. I've never read the comic book before. I just saw the uh, what's the. Because uh, when he just because he, he he injures the criminals that yeah. don't deserve to die. I think he's actually pretty just in his. Yeah, I've, I've only judgment. seen uh, who's the guy that directed the movie? Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Yeah, I've only seen the Zack Snyder. Movie. I love the movie. And also, he dies for the truth, which just makes him like I actually. Good. I actually prefer the movie over the comic, but specifically the director's cut. The director's cut's really good. I've seen the ultimate cut with the uh, with the tales from the black thing. freighter. Yeah, I honestly don't like tales from the black freighter because I feel like it fucks up the pacing a little bit. It is a long fucking movie. Holy shit! My my friend showed it to me. I was like, holy crap! This is almost four hours long. Yeah, like what about Snyder cut of Justice League, which is four hours long? Oh, I haven't. I, I don't think I've seen that one. I don't watch trash. It's awful. It's just <laughs> awful. I, whenever I tell people that it's actually worse than the original, people are like, "Wow, you're an idiot." And I'm like, "I don't think I am." <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen the original Justice League. You're not missing anything. I haven't seen neither, yeah, but I, I'm just both, I'm making I assumptions. Both are terrible. I think most of them. Yeah, yeah, like, no, no, both of them. Both of them. Both of them are battle are, are bad, but like the things that exist in the original. 
are actually good. Like some of like the original, like the like the scenes that only exist in the original, um, are actually good. Mm-hmm. At least content in some way. And it's also a shorter movie, so you're not wasting four hours of your life watching it. <laughs> I think the best DC movies are Watchmen and Joker. I agree. I like. Uh... I don't know if this is a hot take, but I, I like. I don't Batman. think Watchmen is a DC movie. It is. It is. It's not DC. It's, e, not, it's a, not. It's not DC it's EU, not a but it's DC. DC comic. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I, it I know is. It's based yes. On Charlton characters. Yes. I know it's based on Charlton movie. comics. Watchmen could, is DC. I could have sworn that Watchmen. It's is using. It's like they're parodies of Charlton characters, which is another comic book thing. Yeah. They're D, they're DC. We, we trust me, Spencer. We would know. Okay. I um, think Shovelface did a good job doing Batman. Which Ooh. Batman? Uh, like Shovelface. Is that What's uh, Robert Pattinson? Yeah, Pattinson. Shovelface. I call him Shovelface. He did good, great. I hate that. I hate the. I hate any any of the Batman movies since Ben Affleck's. Really? Yeah, okay. I didn't like any of those Batman. Movies. Wow. <laughs> I didn't like the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I like Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, I do too. But like, I mean, granted, those are. Like, I don't like the. I mean, the third. The one third one's bad. The worst one, I think. I, I don't like the third I one. Like Tom, the first one. Tom Hardy's. I think Batman Begins is better than uh, Dark Knight, personally. Yeah, I think Dark Knight's better than Batman. I really like Dark Knight. But I think the Batman's the best Batman movie we've gotten so far. <laughs> like, I would say Dark Knight's like in like, like like one of the obje- is like in the ten objectively best movies made. I don't know about overall movies, but. I don't know. There's a lot of competition. Like, it's not my, my top ten favorite. I just think, like, it's one of those movies that's, like, just objectively one of the best. Well, you've, been talking, you've been talking about movies that I haven't seen, so that's why I... You haven't seen The Dark Knight? Competition. Uh, I saw The Dark Knight when I was younger. I don't remember anything about the movie, though. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing I remember seeing a, a mask covered in blood. That's the only thing I remember. The whole movie. I love... I just, the. Uh, I just like like the scenes where like Joker's trying to like trying to prove human nature. I think it's actually kind of dumb that like the that the people don't pick themselves in in that scene. Where is that? Where he's like on the where he has the where he's the two boats where he's like uh, these people are gonna pick the other people to die or something. That was like, pretty uh, dumb. They're like well, we're gonna we're not gonna yeah that was dumb. I'm excited for Joker too. Oh, they're making that. I, I that I don't, I don't think not. it needs a sequel. I am. I think I'm Joker was a perfect movie on its own. I agree. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried they're gonna mess it up. It's uh, like I'm. I'm I, also worried about Arcane season I, two because I'm worried they're gonna mess it up. Gonna be amazing. I think Joker actually does like a really good job at pointing out like socialism in America. Socialism. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I would say that that is kind of like what Joker. Like, it, it shows how, like, single mom parenting kind of, like, scrambled up his brain. Yeah. And then he uh, becomes, like, a, a socialist, kill the rich kind of guy. Yeah. And uh, kills a guy on live TV because he feels the title, which is, like, kind of parallel to Will Smith slapping someone on TV. There yeah. you go. See? Jo- jo- and then Joker's Hot the take. bad guy, so the movie's based. Hot take. <laughs> Joker 2 will be ten times better than the first Joker movie. All right. Well, I mean, I guess that remains to be seen, but I'm going to be very skeptical about that. And it's going to be a musical too. <laughs> <laughs> Joker, musical. Joker two is going to be a musical. Is, is, is it, it really? No, yep. it's it's not right. I, I swear to God, it's going to be a musical. What? There's yeah. no way to be better than the first if that's true. Are you predicting that it's going to be a musical, or is it confirmed that it's going to be a musical? It's confirmed that it's going to be a musical, and I'm. I'm I'm betting it's going to be better than the first. But movie. is but here's the real question of quality: Is Joker going to say it's joking time and then joke it up? <laughs> <laughs> I know that. What's your Lady Gaga is going to be a Harley Quinn. You're you're making no. this shit up, right? <laughs> no, I'm not even fucking joking. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Hang on, I don't think that's necessarily a bad decision. I think no, it isn't. Lady Gaga could no, be I'm a just... pretty good Harley Quinn. I, I'm. <laughs> yes, I don't... But... What? Like no, but this but this all sounds be, ridiculous though. No, no, she's not gonna be Harley Quinn like you know the Harley Quinn we know. She's gonna be Harley Quinn the uh, psychiatrist. I don't think that Joker movie is like kind of the thing where you can do a sequel like that. 
You can. can. I think you can, and I think it's going to be I don't know. If the, I don't think that works. I thought that movie, like, it, what it did, just you can't, like, get silly with it. Bro, it's not going to be silly, though. Yeah, they're going to be 100%. It sounds pretty like silly. If it's a I mean, musical, no, how is it not going to be silly? It's not going to be silly. I can name, like, three musicals that aren't silly. Yeah. So what, is it going to be, like, Sweeney Todd? It's going to be the flip one. Like, and singing, like... <laughs> The same writer and director are doing the sequel to Joker, and they say it's going to be... I killed musical. those people on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a great musical, Legend of the Stardust Brothers. That's a you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I said, I guess we'll see, but... Uh... Okay then. <laughs> like the, the I just I I don't I, I I don't think they should meddle with it. I don't either, but I think they should. Okay. I think there's all that potential. All I right. think there are things that people should be banned from meddling with and should lose their I freedom. Hope, I hope Robert <laughs> De Niro is it is in it and they kill him again. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, I hope it's like in Fight Club <laughs> Two. They, like in Fight Club Two they, where they Bob did, gets brought I, I back to life Joker, and it's really bad. I think this Joker should meet Robert Pattinson's Batman. And no. uh, and show him what he has to do. Yeah, no. What he, what he fucking deserves is a, is a good is a good boyfriend, and then they fuck. <laughs> He's like and it's two hours long. Yeah, yeah here's what it's called. It's just a two it's hour a long two sex hour scene. Fuck. <laughs> this is what it's called. Joker, Joker two joking time. No, Joker for le de du. So is this gonna be pretentious garbage? I mean, the Joker for that. Yeah, he's garbage. right. It's real. It's real. He everything he said is true. Robert De Niro's <laughs> Robert De Niro's in it somehow. Yep. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? So wait, is it? Just they like, rebuild like, him. Like you're, you're seeing <laughs> things through the through the mind of Joker, like he's just gotten more and more insane or something. Yes, like, it's this is gonna work. It's gonna be a musical. Did yeah, but is it from the perspective of Joker? Because that's the only way it would know. make sense. Is he's like gotten so crazy that he okay. sees the world this way? Everything I see here says it's rumored to be a musical, but I'm just looking at Google, so I mean, I guess it could be confirmed. Who knows? I mean, Bill or what? Todd Phillips is directing again. It's gonna be awesome. I am blown I away. Think, I, I am Joker blown away that he did not say a like single a untrue thing there. <laughs> that sounds I made up. Pretty much summed up a lot of things. That, you know, <laughs> <culture now. laughs> uh, Joker, Joker Two is going to be the best movie ever made. Okay, is it going to be one of the film of all time? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's not going to be one of the film. It's it's going to be the film. It is going to be the film. You're. The opening day, my ass is gonna be on. DC that. needs to to make something actually worth watching, like a Rorschach movie. Yeah, but or the, the question movie. Yeah, they're gonna ruin it though. What the hell are you talking about? I'd watch a question. The question. Movie. I don't want to see Steve Ditko's works bastardized again. Well, no, I mean, uh, if if they can get someone like uh, the guy who did uh, what's his name, the guy who did Joker, do a question movie, that would be fucking badass. <laughs> That's the guy who made Hangover, ain't it? Yeah, he did uh, the Joker movie too. Yeah, but I guess if he approached it with the same it. energy, he could do it well, though. Yeah. <clears throat> I want. I, if they did a question movie, he would still have to. He, he, I would want him to be like as extreme as Rorschach, though. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like, yeah. do it on a very low budget, like the first Joker movie, and you. Whenever you do a, a project that's low budget, like nobody will care. Like that's the reason why Joker was so great. Like uh, and like there needs Rutter to be like he needs to be like anti-liberal yeah. dialogue too. Like it needs to like he, he, sure. he has to be like against the the agenda. I mean, they're all it's all liberal nonsense. But yeah, you you can like do a Joker movie like that has a like a plot like that, and nobody's gonna nobody's gonna touch you. No, Warner Brothers. Didn't even want to make uh, the Joker film that uh, what's his face wanted to do. It would be cool uh, if they had like monologues like Rorschach's in a question movie. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I like because that's like the best part is 
dog in an alley this morning. Tired tread on burst stomach. This city is afraid of me. I have seen its true face. The streets are extended gutters, and the gutters are full of blood. And one day, when the streets scab over, all the vermin will drown. Yeah. Rotate. Oh, nice. Cool. Man, that, that, that's your motto, bro. <laughs> that's your, uh... Well, I actually, um... Because I, I, like, those, like, I, I did, like, a series of streams, too, that I literally just took that quote and chopped it up. So the first stream was, co- stream was called The Streets Are Extended Gutters. The second one was called The Gutters Are Filled With Blood. And then the third one was called And When the Drains Finally Scab Over, All the Vermin Will Drown. When they say, uh, what is it, uh, the world will look up and shout, save us, but I'll look down and whisper no. Yep. Yeah. I, also, the Watchmen movie adds, like, lines that aren't even in the original comic that are so much better. Like, it, it's better than the comic. Yeah, like, um... Because, like, Wibberschick, when he kills the, the when he kills the pedophile, he says, men go to prison, dogs get put down. Yeah, it's a movie-only line. I still don't, I mean... I, I wish... Uh, wait, what was I saying? I, I can't remember what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> no, another, another line that's Classic. movie... <laughs> another line that's movie-only... Is when Rorschach says, uh, you're not locked in here, or I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. That's only in the movie. Nice. There's a, well, like, I think it does kind of say, like, the black guy says it in the comic. Does he? Yeah, he says Rorschach, he quotes Rorschach, but Rorschach, you never actually see Rorschach say it. Oh, okay. Nice. See? You mean read? Dumbass. <laughs> All I know is I'm excited for Joker 2 and the Batman 2. You know that the, like Batman two. Uh, I wiped my ass with that. Why? Batman was awesome. Uh, just because. Show uh, the face of the job. Uh, just because I don't like it and I haven't even watched it. Well, don't uh, say anything. Yeah, that, that, like this it. makes it that you sound ignorant, though. Yeah. Like, don't you say anything. Like, uh, you haven't watched yet. I disagree. Why? Why do you disagree? Well, uh, because it's bad. Look, I, I, I do think With that, the like, I think that there's an uh, argument to be I made. Have any. I think there's an argument to be made both ways. I think Corbin is not doing the argument well. Um, but I think that you can judge a movie based on not seeing it. Like, I can tell Birds of Prey is a bad movie without having to see it. Oh, yeah. And I can tell Captain Marvel's a bad movie without having to see it. But, I saw Captain Marvel. That was terrible. Yeah. But, like... Like, granted, I, I know nothing about The Batman. I've heard people tell me that I would like it. I've heard other people I'm tell me I'm just saying it's bad for simply existing. Why? Uh, because I don't like it. Because that's because the kind of guy why? he is. Because I don't like it. Because why? You gotta, because. Give me a, you gotta give me an example, bro. You gotta give me some examples. Well, it doesn't... As a well, given, this is America. He doesn't have to. Well, you know, I mean, for the sake of argument, he does... If he I'm wants not to making have, like, an argument. I'm saying a simple fact that it's terrible for simply existing. Why? Because it exists. Why? I, why I don't know it why exist? it exists. I wish it didn't. <laughs> why? I don't. Because. Now this. Yeah, I now while I think this is super productive, <laughs> I don't think we're getting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but who? No, I just. It's. I just need. Yeah, but who? To who? say. Versus? Versus what? Versus what? Versus what? what? Versus what? <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. What? <laughs> Kill. Do it. Alright, I'm done. Kill him. Kill the other. I don't care. I mean, I don't care if you watch Batman, the Batman. I just think, uh, it surprised me. I didn't want to watch it, but that surprised the fuck out of me. Like, my, my nephew dragged me to the theater, and I'm like, I don't want to watch this shit. But then... The movie like really shocked the shit out of me, and I'm like, oh, holy crap, this is better than that shitty Christopher Nolan bullshit. <laughs> Why is just... Christopher Nolan's Batman bad? Yeah, hang on. He already mentioned <laughs> he didn't Nolan like it earlier. I'm surprised you guys just barely caught that. Christ, are you kidding me? He's not Batman. He's James Bond in those fucking movies. Batman. I always imagined it was Patrick Bateman in those. All movies. right, tell you what. <laughs> I... I'm going to go take listen, a piss so you guys can keep arguing, but I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be back. But listen, I'm going to keep the recording just rolling, like, though. Patrick Bateman just went, like, full, like, crazy vigilante. Listen, they can't, they can't put together that Batman is a billionaire. Like, he has all these fucking gadgets and vehicles, and his suit looks amazing looking. It looks, like, pristine, and these fucking nitwits can't figure it out. Hey, maybe the Isn't billionaire... Isn't that the same with everything? No, no it's not. not. That's the same with every Batman. He's got no, the... No, it isn't. It isn't. 
No, Michael it Keaton's, absolutely is. No, it isn't because Michael Keaton's Batman costume didn't look like a million dollars. Fucking the uh, shovel faces uh, Batman costume was. It makes sense though because he's a billionaire. Like it's supposed to be like a. Realistic I know, but his suit, his suit looks like. I, I'm fine with it because really kind of like advanced, skin for Batman. I think Batman's a Batman character. Batman is not technology like, advanced. He take just it in any direction. Cape and like tights. He's not like he, he has gadgets, but he doesn't have like he doesn't flaunt it anywhere. So everyone would notice it. Like, I'm like I don't know. I think Batman kind it kind of is cooler if he becomes like sort of like this egotistical kind of selfish guy. Well, yeah, of course he's egotistical, selfish, but he doesn't talk. He doesn't do it with his. Ga- he sometimes he does it with the gadgets, but he does it with his detective work and his uh his like ninjutsu and shit. Like, why not Batman? show off how rich you are? That makes you cool. I know, but you people will find out you're Batman. This is a, this is not a cartoon it's Batman where he can do that shit all the time. Cartoon Batman hangs out with a twelve year old boy. I know. That's a cartoon though. If it was in real life, it would be like, hey, you're hanging out with a twelve year old boy. What the fuck are you doing? That's kind of creepy. No, it's not. It's not creepy. You're enabling this little boy in danger, and you're, you're a fucking adult. You're an asshole. No, there's a reason why. <laughs> no, like fucking look. Like that's actually a that's actually a plot point brought up. Like like people bring up the fact that you're endangering. Like, why why do you let this let this kid you know hang out with you and then he like you know yeah. do all this dangerous stuff yeah. and he's like to um it's to protect him and yeah. then it's even brought up why so he become so so he becomes more like you and Bro. then. Batman says no yeah. because he doesn't. Yeah, but all I'm saying because is because Batman didn't have that kind of you know, that kind of saying, figure in his life. Yeah, all I'm saying is it works in the comics and the cartoons, but in live action, sometimes li- sometimes you gotta subtract stuff from live action, like him hanging around with a little boy in live action. I think if they ever like, I think the perfect way to adapt Batman and Robin's relationship mm-hmm. into live action is to, like actually look at the how like kind of dark it is and that he's like taking this like he's psychologically abusing this kid to toughen him up sure like that needs to be focused on extremely in a batman movie i think that he's like kind of psychologically abusing a kid to make him into a man i watch it i mean all these people are like saying you can't you guys are like uh like the sanctity of the comics fuck the sanctity of the fucking comics make a good fucking movie for fuck's i think sake. batman needs to get like really twisted i want to see like an r-rated yeah. just extremely brutal batman movie Bro. like i know what they like they were kind of leaning towards that with robert pattinson so i could tell but i yeah. knew they weren't gonna go full you wanna it. you wanna that was my only complaint about the out. batman is that the batman wasn't rated r i'm like fuck Give this man an R-rated movie. I would love it to death. You wanna, you wanna watch, uh, you wanna watch, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, The Killing Joke, or it's all, read, or read, um, uh, uh, Batman Who Laughs. I would Killing rather. Rob? I like, I like, I really like Killing Joke. The uh, not the movie, the comic. Yeah, I, I read the comic and then I saw that shitty ass. Wasn't the comic also Alan Moore? I don't care about Batgirl at all. Yeah, fuck Batgirl. She wasn't... <laughs> she she deserved it. They did! <laughs> <laughs> they both did. No, but like... Batman and the Joker both did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Killing Joke was Alan Moore, wasn't it? I don't I think it's Alan Moore or... Uh, yeah, it was Alan Moore. Alan yeah. Moore, ironically, like, even though he's a terrible, like... He's, he sucks as a human being. Like, he's written a lot of good stuff. Yeah. By accident, probably. Yeah. Yes. Well, the thing is, I like... Think, like he, tries, he, he goes in with a certain intent, but it winds up being good because it turns out a different way than what he wants. Yeah. yeah even because even, even like, a broken clock is right twice a day. Or as, Bur- he, he or just, as Birdly think, like, says, like, even a broken clock is right does, once I a day. He kind of has his own, like, sort of... Uh, socialist kind of views on I think you can kind of see it in everything he does well he's like a fucking isn't he like a flower child hippie fuck or something yeah he literally he literally he literally literally likes communism that too yeah gross better dead than red communism death is a preferable alternative to communism (laughs) true better dead than red 
Liberty Prime is a great character. Yeah, you guys, you guys, um, like, so they're making like a Fallout show, but it's gonna be terrible, I'm sure. Like Corbin was telling me that like someone like involved with like Miss Marvel was making it though. Dude, I'm telling you, three more years of this shit, and then we're gonna go back to normal. Hopefully. Uh, I, I I think like uh, we should like embrace Hill. embrace extreme opinions. Like I think we should like be tolerant of. I think like uh, and not tolerant in like Uh-oh, the way that the left preaching is tolerant. tolerant. <laughs> not the way the left is. No, I get what Corbin's oh, like, saying. I think we need to allow people to be pieces of shit. Is what he's saying, as long as they're not breaking yeah. the law. Yeah. yeah, I think people should be allowed to, like, have any kind of opinion they want. Like, I think that that should exist as yeah, the freedom I agree. to express yourself in any way. Well, I, I mean, that's what's happening now. Like, uh, people are making the TV shows and movies that they want. And, like, uh, people are voting with their dollars. And, you know, people are not watching these fucking shows like uh, the new Lord of the Rings movies. Or yeah, it's one of those or... things where you just gotta stop paying them and just let them die. Yeah, here's the thing though. If you have, if you have a Amazon Prime, you already paid for it. <laughs> like you already did. Well, that's why. Amazon Prime. Well, look, I don't like all the streaming services I have. I mooch off other people. I have basically all the major ones, but I don't pay for a single one. All I have is HBO Max, and I mooch off my brother. Yeah. Like, I, I refuse to pay for streaming services, but thank God, plenty of friends and family I have don't, so that I can mooch off them and um, not give them money. I, I mooch I mooch my Netflix off of uh, off of Angelo here. Yeah, you do. and I mooch it off my mom. So there you go. <laughs> so you, we're both we're both using my mom's Netflix. <laughs> I, I download shit. So yeah, I'm always paranoid. I think it's with retarded that. that literally anything like has like a gay category now. I think it's funny though that like they had to remove the LGBT tab from Jeffrey Dahmer. Th- thing because that people got mad. <laughs> that's dumb. But I actually just, think Jeffrey Dahmer, like, that's the, the perfect sort of anti-gay like kind of could, story is the story of Jeffrey Dahmer. He could get hard unless it was a dude or him killing him. Because <laughs> I think it's, like, it's perfect because it represents, like, his guilt and his shame over his homosexuality the same as, like, just, like, him, him it, like, like, uh, this sort of, uh, guilty, shameful Sort of. It means, uh, it means family. <laughs> Why is what? Star Wars? <laughs> no, fucking Fast and Furious, idiot. Oh, well, I thought you were invoking uh, Carrie Fisher. It's about family. That's what Star Wars is about. It's about family. I love how you perfectly encapsulate her fucking like fucked up. As, yeah. That's life. But I think like uh, like Jeffrey Dahmer was like the ultimate sinner. Like, which makes, like, him becoming Christian while he was in uh, prison, like, kind of, like, more meaningful. I don't know. Maybe I'm being gay. Is it, but... is it, is it a weird uh, that I still masturbate to Carrie Fisher as a Job the Hutt slave? No. <laughs> or, that, uh, or that green lady that dances in Jabba's palace that I still uh, jerk off to that one too. Green lady. Good. Yeah, the green lady. Yeah, good. No, I just like that. That's the way you refer to it. I think it's right. a shame. Yeah. Green lady. <laughs> yeah. But wait, what's the most embarrassing thing you jerk off to? Oh, it's the green lady from that Star Wars movie. Oh, okay. I jerked off to Conker's girlfriend once when I was a teenager. What's that? Conker's girlfriend. I did that once when I was a teenager. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Right. Uh, no. It was because you can like on 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 live and reloaded on rock solid. You can get in the cage with her and zoom in. Nice. Nice. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you jerked off to? <laughs> I've, uh... I've literally never done it. Ever. <laughs> uh huh. Once. It was horrible. <laughs> Fluid came out of my pee pee. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with. Oh, what if is I it? ever did that? That uh, if I ever did that, I'd have to cut my hands off because I wouldn't be able to live with the guilt of having those hands anymore. Jesus. I guess I guess I'll answer with this one because it it might not be the most embarrassing one, but it's definitely the most the one I I least want to admit to amongst this group of people. Okay. Um. Carrot from One Piece. Who's that? 
Who's that? Uh, she's she's a she's a she's a. I'll just send a picture of Carrot. I mean, how does that sound? <laughs> okay. I've ne- I've only seen like the first episode of One Piece, and I'm like, I'm out. I can't do it. I can't do a thousand episodes of this bullshit. Uh, I will send it in general when I get a picture. In the Ooh. meantime, Corbin, what's the most embarrassing thing you've jerked off to? He said he's really nothing off. ever. I, I would cut off my hands. You're lying. Change. You're lying. The man has I never touched cut himself. off my hands from the stream. Corbin's never even touched himself in the shower. He has to have someone else do it for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking from experience. Hey, Mom! Oh, no. <laughs> Mom, in the shower, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's just got quite uh, a quiet. Then talk. <laughs> then talk. This quiet offense, Lanesh. Oh. Things shall get loud now. Ah! Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's talk about I... things and stuff. Okay. Things. And stuff. And stuff. <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys think I should play Fallout 76 as well, right? Like like I said, play the bad sure. ones. I'll play it with you if you want. <laughs> Could do that. You should do it just so I can say I've been here. I've Did been you guys here. Want, want to watch the first episode of uh, Eekster 1? It's only like 25 minutes long. Um, like a, a regular episode. Yeah. Um, well, we could. I'd probably want to end the recording for that, just because the audio gets copyrighted, you know? Alright. Um, I guess, is there anything else we want to wrap this up with? Um, which is this server? A rope? We're in the Fugitive Red Eye Secret Club server. Okie dokie. Lamp oil? Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. As long as you have enough rubies. (laughs) Oh, yeah, Morshu's pretty great. Um, yeah, but overall, uh, back to bookend it. There it is. Back to bookend it. Fa- I mean, here it's coming. Fa- Fallout is a good game, and I like it a lot. I need to play it. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend uh, it. I, I, I might like it if I played it, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just the kind of... Uh, anyway. I don't know, it's just Oblivion with guns. And green, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's green. <laughs> I can't play that. Didn't, like, what culture basically say something along those lines? Yeah, I think people, when they talk about Fallout 3, they sound stupid. Because they're like, I just don't like it. It's like, obliv- it's like oblivion with guns, and it's green, and, and, uh, and like, it starts you off in this boring vault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I guess that's it. Um, say bye, Corbin. Bye, Corbin. Bye, Corbin. Bye, Corbin. Bye, Corbin.